welcome everyone to this week's episode, our penultimate episode of Call of Cthulhu Below the Land of Fire. We are here, we are down a couple of players, unfortunately due to personal reasons and family reasons, but we have a wonderful guest with us tonight. So we're going to go around, we're going to say who we are, who we're playing, and uh, get into it, because it's a big day today. Uh, Don, our wonderful guest, we'll start with you. How are you tonight? Hi, uh, I'm great. I'm really excited. I play Tanner Huntington. Tanner is the cameraman with the previous group that ended up down in this uh, below the sea place. And he's been there for a little while now. And things have not been going great for Tanner Huntington, but things have been pretty good for me. I'm happy to be here. Wonderful, wonderful. And below Tanner, we've got, oops, I didn't move people around, but that's okay. Oh, I just gotta go, whoop, and we got Bob and May. Nuggetosaurus, how are you today? <laughs> I'm I'm doing great. I'm very excited, very nervous for tonight. I don't, I, I mean, I want people to die, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know who I want to die, because people are definitely gonna die. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nuggetosaurus. I'm playing Bobby May Dean, uh, the f investigative photojournalist who um, is a psychopathic murderer and is, you know, totally well adjusted. Totally well adjusted. However, I will say, at least for this session, Bobby May gets her wish. Uh, Parker Lee won't die because I don't kill people when they're not here and Yutsai isn't here tonight, so he Bobby May gets that one wish. For tonight. Uh, no guarantees about the finale. Um, and then we have Snow! Snow, how are you tonight? I'd like to start off our session by just reminding everyone that Parker, you know, left and is now not here after he went, so you killed someone to Bobby May. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. with that started, hi, I'm Laurie Lark, um, some people call me Snow, you can call me either, and I be, I'll be playing Irina Zhao, uh, our sound tech below the ocean, mm -hmm. who's feeling kind of explosive, hopefully not herself, but we'll find out. I'm here for any and all of it. Someone who might be a little trigger happy, uh, this evening, I don't know, Dimples and Dice, how are you tonight? Bang, bang. Uh, things need to explode. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Prince, also known as Dimples and Dice around the internet. I'm going to be playing the Teddy uh, Gilbert, uh, formerly known as the Terror. Uh, maybe known as the Terror again after today. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, and how am I doing tonight? Uh, well, we're ready to, to cause a ruckus. But also, what the fuck, Bobby May? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And so I'll give a little recap of what happened last week. Last week, the Resistance finished their tunneling efforts to get below the device, uh, and Bobby May and Parker successfully planted the C4 and gasoline barrels underneath where the device is located. All someone has to do is set it off at a very specific time, because not only are they going to blow up the device, they're going to cool off the volcano. They're going to extinct this volcano because they found that the entire grid of this Eld Elder, Elder Thing city runs off of volcano power, and all the little different colored light tubing beneath the floors are actually just lava tubes, just different pretty colored lava tubes, and that it's basically an intricate power grid, and they found one of the way stations, one of the, one of the little substations for this power grid, and the chemicals to fuck with it. After digging through some archives, and maybe losing a little sanity doing so, uh, they found out a manual for using the substation, and gave it to the meteorologist, or, I'm sorry, climatologist and volcanologist, Dr. Renee Nelson, uh, who's been working with Dr. Bronwyn to gradually and slowly cool the volcano down so that hopefully the elder things don't notice until it's too late. Once they get to the point of no return, the plan is to blow the device up and, uh, have some people run to the Titan Uranus to uh, escape, and the rest of everyone to run to the That's What C said. Uh, to cast the Bubble Dome spell, which is the same spell keeping all the water out from here, and keeping the pressure survivable rate. Uh, and GTFO, using the Titan Uranus to tow the That's What C said back to the safety of the surface. Or so they hope. Um... Uh, Spells have been cast. Well, not the bait, not cast yet, but you know, the outlines for rituals have been done. Uh, the provisions have been gathered, guns have been acquired and handed out to certain members of the group. And um, I believe that's where we're gonna pick up tonight's session. We're gonna start with Tanner tonight. Tanner, 
Uh, Wash just gave you that info dump that I messaged you about in Discord earlier, and, uh, has sent you off to go find these people. Uh, he said they're staying on the Chum Guzzler to help out for today, because today's boom day. It's the big day. It's escape day. Uh, so, do you gather anything before you, you meet up, uh, or do you just head on over from the, uh, play -play? Yeah. The, the chambers, the rooms that we stay in mm -hmm. on the Playboy, my ship. Uh, do they have, like, windows? Yeah, there's portholes. Yeah. Portholes, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like to imagine that um, Tanner's not been talking a lot the past few days, especially. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Wash kind of had to shake him out of that uh, and give him something to do, a uh, purpose. And it... He says yes, almost absent-mindedly, but he's still kind of torn as to whether or not he's going to actually do it. And so I think he packs his bag, then unpacks his bag, and then packs it again. And he stands at that porthole, a little fogged over, and he just kind of draws an X shape on the porthole. And then he draws a Y shape on the porthole, and then three little lines from the Y aimed at the X. And then he fogs the window with his breath and he kind of smudges the drawing away, turns back to his bag and lifts up whatever passes as a bed here, probably a cot or something. If there's some fisherman's cots, yeah. Yeah, uh, and pulls out a small handgun from beneath the bed, shoves it into the bag, zips the bag up, throws it over his shoulder, grabs his other bag with his camera in it, takes a breath, and just slowly, almost like a zombie, moves out of the room and starts the long walk over to, checking my notes here, the Chum Guzzler. Yes, yes, the long walk to the Chum Guzzler. It's about a 15 minute walk, it's not that bad. Um, and I believe on the Chum Guzzler would be uh, I think Irina and Teddy had finished drawing their chalk circles and then that's what C said. And we're going to meet up with Bobby May and Parker on the Chum Guzzler because Bobby May and Parker got stuff from uh, Miss Andrea Johnson, the pawn shop later. Uh, so Teddy and Irina, you would see first because Bobby May is aggressively walking away from Parker at this moment after him as having asked, so you've killed somebody? She's like, oh, we're busy. But, so... T uh, Teddy and Irina, you see a familiar, not because you've seen him in person, but because you've seen this picture a lot, familiar face, walking, trudging, I think trudging's probably a better word, towards the chum guzzler. Is that who I think it is? I just, like, kind of, like, whisper to Teddy and give a little nudge nudge. Yeah, that's the, the guy with the, the girlfriend who's falling apart. Yeah, he looks mopey enough. That definitely looks like Sad Boy Tanner. Um, so do you think, like, potentially telling him that, you know, he might have a baby on the way will help his attitude? Um, I don't know. It's a, we'll just, let me, let's make sure it's him first. Um, hello? You get to talk about this. I am not built for that at all. All, all right. If, if we need to break the news to him. We, we have that on the cards. Tanner, um, hi. Hey. Is that he you? stumbles over and he doesn't say anything. He'll just stand in front of you for a long moment and then say, hey, hey uh, yeah, Teddy, uh, Irina. Oh, Wash sent you, I guess? Or a professor? Uh, yeah, no, it was... Uh, it was Wash. He sent me. He said, "You all have a, a plan. You've been working on." Yeah. yeah. Blow this motherfucker up. Let's let's go in to talk. It's probably best. She just gives him like a long assessment. Look like, okay. Hey, do you do you want a bag of chips? You look like you haven't eaten something solid in a while. While we're at uh, it. And there's probably a little bit of volcano snail <laughs> still on the corner of his lip right now. And he, he has a more emotional reaction to this than probably he would expect. Uh, and so almost crying, he says, you, you have a bag of chips on you? We do. Um, just just come in, please. Just drags him in, closes the door, 
rummage us through our bag just here. You, you, you got sour cream? Um, we got, um, ghost barbecue, original, this is like a party bag. Oh, they all dressed, here you go. He takes sour cream. it. Yeah, uh, he looks at the, the label and says, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. He rips the bag open a little violently, so some of the chips spill out of the bag, and he tries to catch them in his hand, and he just goes to town on this little snack bag. It's so good. It is the first non-snail thing you've eaten in over a week. It is just... Melts in your mouth. It's like potato chips. You can never have just one to begin with. And then, oh, after just snail and manual labor, this hits the spot, like on a deep emotional level. <laughs> he has to sit down. You can get uh, one after... sanity back from eating, <laughs> from, from yeah, the I, hope that this I bag of it. potato chips gives you. <laughs> Uh, so he will, he'll eat the bag as fast as he can. He'll kind of like pop the dust into the palm of his hand and lick his hand to just to hold on to that flavor a little bit longer. And, and then he'll sit down wherever he can sit down around here and look up to the two of you and say, all right, all right, let's, uh, let's blow the hell out of this place, right? That's the plan. Um, do you want to hear it? Just to see where you can kind of fall into the plan? Yeah, yeah, please. I'd love to hear it. Right. Do, uh, do you mind if I, um, record this, you know, just in case we, we make it out of here? I, I think, you know, this is a moment that deserves to be remembered. Sure. I mean, we saw some of your tape from the up, up there as well. I mean, we got your message to Heather. You got my message, though? Yeah, she cried again. Oh, I, I, um, I didn't mean to make her cry. I, I think that was happy tears. Like, just. I also think she cries a lot, honestly. Because yeah. she might be. Anyway, just here. She didn't used to cry a lot. Uh, he says he's like starting to unpack his camera bag as he, <laughs> he's talking about this. Yeah, well, you know, know. You, you guys know. all did disappear. Is she here? Did, did she come down? No, with you? no, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't bring her down. She might be in a delicate condition. Just continue to put. Oh, good, good. That's good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad she's not here. Um, who are you people? Uh, the short answer is stupid. Long answer. We got hired to find you. We found you. Essentially that. Oh, wow. I'm surprised anybody cared enough to send anybody after us. Heather. He smiles a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We we thought about leaving, but uh, we, we I'm, didn't. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry that you got pulled into this fucking insanity, uh, but... Listen, um, Wash has been working hard. I, I'm sure uh, whatever he's working on, it, it's it'll work. You wow. just tell me what I need to do. And that's when Bobby May gets back to the ship. All right, who the fuck has been lying to Parker and telling him that I have murdered someone? You murdered someone? You murdered? No, I have never murdered someone. I mean, <laughs> let's be real. You were murdered someone. running with the mafia for a while. That so does, I, mean, I was undercover for a Tanner, story. That does Bobby not May. mean that I murdered someone. We have been over this before. Bobby May who may have murdered someone. I Tanner. Never Tanner. I have never murdered anyone. Tanner, ever. do you know... <laughs> Hi. Hold on, let, let me let me turn the camera off for a second. <laughs> He's been recording this <laughs> as you walk in. He turns the camera off off and sets it down. Uh, Tanner, you hear that little voice uh, that Teddy and Irina cannot hear. Hi, I'm my name's Coop. It's nice to meet you. See, Bobby's Let's holding see. a handle of empty whiskey, and there's just oil slick with eyes. <laughs> And the oil slick has eyes and it's yeah, like a whiskey too, bottle. Yeah, just too big. <laughs> just yeah. two little, 
Like like a little slime from uh, Dragon Quest, almost, but more oily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like. But we can't see the eyes for people who are still sane, right? Yeah, you just right. all you see is it looks like like when you have just a little bit of oil left in like that bottle of olive oil. Uh -huh. That's all it looks like to the other two. But for y'all, uh, it's like a little blob. Uh, who is saying that? Hello. Hi, this this is Goop. Um, I suppose Hi. you can see Goop. Want be friends? Uh, well, I you know, um, and we don't really know each other yet, and, and we got some big things going on. But I I do like the sound of your voice, Goop. Ah, oh, shucks. Not everybody can hear me. It gets a little lonely. Do you want a hug? Uh, I. <laughs> Is that safe? He looks to Bobby. Yeah, I've hugged Goop before. Maybe you just like take him out of the. Uh, yeah, I can. I can uncork him, or like you could hug the bottle. Both works. Yeah. You do remember it was a much more like <sighs> solace in that hug when you had him out yeah. of the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. I, is, I don't is... think Tanner's quite there. He'll reach yeah. out and just kind of like pat the bottle, the bottle. and say. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Goop. That's nice Goop to meet you. Goop gives fantastic hugs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Tanner, since you can hear Goop, I, I gotta ask here. Did Bobby May just came in here talking about killing someone? No, I... Oh my God. Somebody or, told Parker that I killed someone. Goop, is this a thing? Uh... <laughs> Somebody did tell Parker that Bobby May killed somebody. That is true. Ye yes, uh, uh, Teddy. Goop says that somebody did tell Parker that I killed someone. Apparently, but, but Goop, do you, does Goop do you know if Bobby May killed someone? <laughs> uh huh. Can't Teddy can't hear me, so I he shouldn't. Um, Papa May, you told me not to tell anybody. <laughs> Looking at Tanner. Hey, Tanner like, hears this. <laughs> this is why I'm asking, because I'm like, <laughs> who's in the room? Who can, who can oh, also whisper? Um, <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Because now I'm interested. Did Papa May kill someone? No, oh, she's never killed anyone in her entire life, ever. <laughs> I mean, you probably get plus points from Teddy for this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think just how wild the situation is has probably made Tanner more focused and sane looking than he probably mm -hmm. has been for days. days. And he sort of <laughs> shakes it off and says, uh, regardless of, you know, whatever you all done in your past, uh, we're all here right now and... If it makes you feel any better, some of the people that I came down here with, I, I got questions about too. Like, I don't know if Wash is really a licensed submarine driver. And <laughs> oh, darling, he ain't. Um, they absolutely not. Also, your friend Uriah, he's a Russian spy, by the way. I don't know if you've been told that. I knew but... there was something going on with him. <laughs> yeah, he's a Russian I knew spy. It. Well, I, I'm. Uh, I actually, uh, you know, am just a. Uh, camera guy so i i don't know you know you're all professionals i don't know how i can help you but i've been here for professionals we are far from that darling we're professional i used to be a professional boxer i'm a professional photo journalist <laughs> anyway okay, hey, hold assuming on, hold on. professional is based on you getting paid for doing a job then yes i am a professional investigator and you are okay. also a professional cameraman so you know uh, okay just, I thought oh. maybe you were all black ops or something, but <laughs> darling, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, this line of conversation is amusing. However, we have an issue. Um, we need to get this welded to the that's what C said. So the Titan Uranus has something to latch onto and haul us out of here. Um, our right. our. Our trade-in friend gave us everything that we need to get it done, um, but we're, we're going to have to do it now, uh, essentially, so we're ready at noon when we pop everything. It's okay. So to weld something together, we're going to need the equipment. We have to do it. Okay, perfect. 
if if you got meaning equipment i mean we've been doing smelting and welding for a while now it's not going to be okay worst thing in the world as long as it holds as long as it holds yeah. and i think it, we should it needs to be inside a... the bubble you don't mind them that right right yeah it has to be inside the bubble yes just to let you know the ritual is complete um we just you need just to, to activate it with the remote. Enact it. Okay. Yeah. How many people do we need again for that ritual to be activated? Oh, there's no minimum, but the more people you the have, more the more we easier do. it is. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I've taught Gemma. Uh, Gemma. DJ, yeah. How to do the ritual. She has accurately or been told that um, this is supposed to be a uh, safety charm. Uh, luckily, we've done enough weird things in the party, and Grave seen that she's okay with it. We'll need as many people to do the ritual as possible. Um, until then, we've sectioned off. So, Tanner, our plan here... We'll actually place down the uh, the blueprints. We've worked with Wash to place uh, C4 in these locations. Tomorrow, uh, after... Today. It's like well, today, a. later today. Um, no one's really. sleeping. Y'all took a yeah. nap. Mm -hmm. After the volcano begins to cool, because there is a circulation system, we already have a doctor working on it. Once it's starting to cool and they start noticing, um, that's when we're going to be blowing these points up. It will tilt the tower that's currently being built, which also comes prepared with sleeping gas, kind of, uh, to put the creatures to sleep. After everything blows up, we're going to be using the submarine to tow the ship that just came down recently. But that's what she said. Ah, uh, she said. In a safety bubble, back up. That's the long and short of it. Right now, we need to attach the submarine to the ship. We'll also need to make sure the right amount of people are there because we can't save everyone. I, I think I understand most of what you're saying, but I, I just, what happens if, you know, those things see us? We all die. Yeah. That's the short of it. Mm -hmm. and, and the long of it. When we get out of here, let's say we, we go off in this bubble, we start to go back to the surface. Mm -hmm. We, You know, there's that thing out there, right? Which thing? There's a lot of things. We have the Elder Things, we have the Shoggoths. The Yithians. The Yithians. This is, means nothing to him. Okay, so triangle, squidly looking things, Elder Things. Yithian, that's the human looking guy. You, you probably haven't met him. Um, Shoggoth, I'm sure you, you've seen them. Weird tentacle monster things. Eyeballs everywhere. Yeah, First time yeah, I've the, the ever eyeballs. looked at. Yeah, they look like cephalopods, but completely unappealing. Cephal mm, you know what? Never mind. The bubble will keep us safe from the the shoggoths and the the cephalopods. We're hoping. Uh, well, once the nah. volcano cools enough, the they the um, the elder things, though the you know the current you know slavers. They should hopefully go inert because they they don't do well in cold temperatures. Oh. Yeah, but once they fall asleep, where the ritual will eventually dissolve. Uh, the Shoggoths, we're not sure if they will attack us, but they do act on the control of the elder things. So, I see. All right. Oh, well, um. Yeah. Just uh. Let me know what I can do. I feel awful you're all here. I want to make sure you, you get out of here. We want to make sure you get out of here. Yeah. Heather kind of is in um, a state of being. I, I have a question. Yes. yes. Um, of course. How many... That statement. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> how many elder things have we seen? Ooh. That Since you've we've been seen? Here. Yeah. It's a little hard to distinguish. Um, kind of like when, you, when you're when you not used to looking at birds. They all look cardinals the same. look the same. You're not used to looking at... It, it's hard to look at elder things for an extended period of time. Um, a lot of them look the same, but you would guess. 
that down here. Um, well, they do have their own living quarters, and uh, you've heard talk of a nursery. You do assume there's a few dozen, at least. A few dozen, okay. The most of so. them stick to the Elder Thing area. It seems that the um, higher-ranking ones maybe are in charge of dealing with all these little, little humans and reconstruction efforts. Okay. That's it. That's all I wanted to ask. Hmm. Yeah, you don't Inner have time. a firm head count. Yeah. Tanner will absorb all this new information and <laughs> finally say, all right, well, if you have an idea of how I can help, let me know. Otherwise, if you need someone to create a distraction or run, maybe run interference, I've been watching those elder things since I've been here and I've had a little bit of success. It hurts to do it, but uh, I, I think I... I, I think I can talk to them. You know, you know, Elder script. I this stuff. No she just holds up the rooms and like, be like, do you understand this? Like, flashcards. Uh, he'll look. Uh, does he understand? You've it? S you not you don't understand that, but you have seen this writing on a lot of the pieces of rubble and on the walls yeah. in the city. You're exactly. guessing this is their written speech. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what it means, but we did communicate briefly before, and it hurt, but it didn't, you know, melt my brain or anything, so. That's impressive. What what have you learned? Um, I mean, you've been here longer. More information is always useful. He tries to think through what he learned as scroll back in my notes from the <laughs> last time we played, which is a long time ago. Oh, so, so forever ago. Like, wow, too long, too long ago. You know, could I make a, can I make some sort of check to see if he's learned anything in the 12 yeah. days he's been here? Give me, give me an idea check. Idea Just check. An or... check. Or a history or spot. Psychology. Game. Yeah, psychology would work too. Try psychology. It's actually something he is good at. That is something he's good at. I will spend my last three <laughs> luck points. Okay. <laughs> when else will I ever spend them? When else? When else will you ever spend them? There's gonna be another roll later. You're like, if only I had one luck. No. Um. You'll just push it. You're that person. Uh. So, you spend your last three luck points to get a successful psychology check. Um. What you've learned, um, because you you have been observing them. You made a point to say that when you first got dragged down here before we were about to play our, our recording them. prison yeah. session and recording them. Um, they are very aloof. They consider themselves super superior to humans. Um, some of this the other players already know, but uh, you would also know that they don't, they're not great with human faces. Kind of how they all look the same to y'all. Y'all all look really similar to them, but they've determined people more by outfits than um, expressions or hair colors kind of thing. It's it's pretty it's been pretty easy for Wash to fake people in and out of the the underground resistance uh, by changing outfits and keeping similar colored hair people on alternate shifts, um, in and out of the tunnels. So they're not super hard to deceive at a superficial level. However, if they engage and make telepathic contact with you, it is very difficult to deceive them. Mm -hmm. But he did last time. He managed you did. to do it before. You, shockingly, yes. You managed yeah. to do it before. Um, and you also know that they're fairly regular. They like to keep this regimented schedule. They don't like to do things spontaneously or out of schedule. Uh, so... The work shifts at this time, the lava shifts at this time, and you see, you have noticed them come and go. Uh, you probably have a better idea of their numbers. You would guess that the adult elder things, probably about two dozen, but there's far more adolescents. Okay. Uh, and like, you know, kind of, do they, do they move on a routine? Like we're on a routine, but are yes. they on a routine? Yes, they, they typically are on a routine. They'll swap out for shifts, basically. Mm. Uh, Shift A has supervisors A, B, and C. Shift B has supervisors D through E, uh, or D through F. Um, it's typically the same people. It, it seems from what Uriah's told you, it's always the same ones at the forge, pretty much. Okay. Um, so, so I think he'll share this, and he'll actually get out his notepad um, and kind of draw 
you know, kind of sketch mm -hmm. like some you yeah. know, maps and whatnot and mark time, at least the best way you can mark time mm -hmm. down here. You gotta watch. Uh, to show you show you what he's learning, he'll he'll mention he'll add they're not really good at uh seeing our faces and, and telling us from each other they, they could reach into your mind but you you can resist i resisted you can trick them it's hard but you can do it and they always do the same thing we don't have to do you know their schedule then do you, do you know when when they will be where because we don't have a strict timeline on when exactly we want to blow this shit up oh i thought we said noon lunch time right do you know what they do around noon then uh would he know that yes so you would know our escape you've noticed uh on the the lunch routes uh when you've been on their sh the same shift as these people uh the ways that they move generally there's one that escorts the people usually it's um Dr. Professor Marvin Howells, or you've noticed uh, Dr. Renee, and Disco, the crazed cook who doesn't talk and only has a very ladle and looks like he's gonna jump off the end at any moment now. Um, it has been the entire time you've been here. That man is not stable. Um, they'll usually escort them with the food to the people working in the, the rubble clearing area, uh, and that is when there's the most people in that specific area. Usually it's just two elder things supervising the workers, but a third, maybe sometimes a fourth, will join for the lunch area just to make sure, like, just to communicate amongst each other, and then they'll usually swap. So the two that came up with lunch will swap with the two who have been surveying, and that's how that typically so do goes. He'll share that, um, and he'll use a red, uh, a red pen to draw the roots of the two pairs that come in and how they crisscross paths so you can kind of get an idea of where they come from and where they go to as best as he can remember all right that's actually amazing um so i think our plans were to well for your group except the professor because he's old um when the explosion happens we need you guys to make your way to the sub you guys started on the sub, so I hope that you are willing to finish your journey on the sub. Gets me back to... Then I'll do anything. Anything. Yes. So, using this, we, we have a better idea of where to run, then. Mm-hmm, you do. Um, And I just kind of like, can we just plot the course of where we're going to run to avoid mm -hmm. the other things based on it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's one. And two... How many spare shirts do we have? There's actually a surprising amount of spare clothing here because a lot of people have died. There's like a pile of it that Andrea has uh, mm -hmm. that you could go to to, to look for uh, outfits if you want to have quick like quick change disguise outfits. That's a pretty good idea. I have an idea. Why don't we just each keep like almost an identical t-shirt on all of us, those who are in on it, or so when time comes, they won't be able to tell who is who. Well, as we're running and scattering. Mm. Well, if they don't recognize our features and they recognize us by like outfits and what we do, we probably want to have different outfits. We probably want to be as disconjointed as possible so they can't pick us out. Because I feel like they're smart enough to realize that all the people running are the people in these particular shirts. We could bring a change, maybe even two changes. So mm -hmm. if things go mm -hmm. wrong, we switch. That's Sharks. a good idea. I it's definitely think. Our radios. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I definitely think that we need to. I think we need to get Doctor Hells onto the ship right now, and we'll yes. have somebody else take his lunch lunch shift. Yeah, um, I'll go get him real quick, and I can start. Um, actually. I might need some help. She just like looks at her arms like, I'm fucking sore. We'll probably need to start melding now. Start welding now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Bobby's going to put all this stuff down. I'm assuming sure. she did already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all the, the, what, and the portable also, welder and things. And guns. We, yeah. yeah. Uh, since we don't really have a plan for the Shalgos, um, I think the lightning gun needs to be on the That's What She Said uh, to protect... Uh, any type of on our escape route yeah 
It does. So if we want to, we need to bring that over. Let's do that now. Um, I will go get Dr. Marvin, Dr. Hells. Um, I will make sure that he is comfortable below and he is, so he's here. So we don't have to worry about him straggling behind. Right. Um, did, did you guys talk to the leader, Gabriel? No, yet? I haven't yet. I was going to go do it now, uh, while I get Dr. Hells. Um, but our, uh, Adri Adriana, is that her name? Uh, Andrea. Andrea. Uh, Andrea is on board with us and she will be coming over with supplies, um, weapons, essentially. Um, so just, you know, be prepared for her when she comes over. Perfect. I knew she'd go for it. She's a businesswoman through and through, isn't she? Oh, yeah, absolutely. She wants to get out of here. Um, now, to find her t shirts as well. Yeah. She um, washes people. Right. Now, since we are enacting this plan at noon, um, I need to get to the substations, the power relay station, to be ready to set it off to detonate, essentially, the, the explosives, as well as flood the system with all the, sil the silicon, silicone. Um, no. When Dr. Nelson, there's so many doctors, when Dr. Nelson gives the go-ahead and is like, hey, hit it now. Mm -hmm. um, we gave her a walkie-talkie, should be fine. Yes, yes, we did. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Um, the substations, yes. the two that we have. Yes. Um, there is a third one, right, mm -hmm. that the Elder Things use. That is correct. That's the one near the Lava Forges. Near the Lava Forges. Okay. Does anybody think that they could get into the, the, the relay station by the Lava Forges? Probably would be me and Teddy. We're going to be at the Lava Forges all morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're able to get in, um, I I'll write down the formula of everything that you guys need to do in order to flood it with silicone at that time as well. Because Dr. Nelson said that the more we flood it, the more we can get in there, the better our chances are going to be of totally extinct in this volcano. Who has a chance to get that close for their job, by the way, between me and Teddy? Because I'm you. assembly... Okay, perfect. You have more. You, have be... more, you are less supervised because you have proven competency. Perfect. I I will probably. You've like, made the I most extreme gonna... roles to <laughs> work well on this thing. I'm gonna. I will be able to go in because I'm closer to it and I'm less supervised. Perfect. All right. Uh, I will get that written down for you. I'll I'll get it to you in a minute. Uh, Teddy, let's get the lightning gun on here and move over any supplies that we need uh, as well. Mm -hmm. um, I will go get. Yeah. I'll, I'll go get Dr. House, uh, get him all situated here on the That's What He Said. And I will also go talk to Dr. Gabe, or Mr. Gabriel, Captain Gabriel, whatever the hell his name is. And I will make sure that he gets his people on this boat at noon. Deal. And then somebody needs to start welding. Somebody needs to get that going right now. That'll be me now. Could somebody go distribute the clothes? Because I can't do both. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. No problem. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Tana. Okay, Irene, I'll also give you an idea check for something, since you had the idea for clothes. Just, just, just out of curiosity. Hard success, oh, apparently. With a hard success, you're thinking about clothes, disguises, quick changes. You do have a thought that there is one human who's able to walk around pretty dang freely uh, in all of this. We if should all dress up as the manager! <laughs> Or if you could at least have one person dress up as the manager, you'd probably, uh, whoever's walking with him would probably be not questioned very much. Who has a similar, like, hair color? So, Kenneth Boyles. Uh, face claim Dan Rather. Uh, from Night Newscaster. So, hmm. uh, brown hair, kind of styled nicely. Uh, always wearing a suit and tie. You know Tanner what? could probably pull it off, uh... Or, <laughs> I hate to say it, but Parker, uh, it could be your just walk along. Wash is far too blonde, even though his roots are showing. If Tanner could dress like the manager, we could probably have a free, he could probably bring someone to the sub mm -hmm. without having to run. Yep. Guys, before we go, just saying, um... He looks similar enough to the manager, um, to the Ithian. He could probably leisurely walk to the submarine. 
with an additional person if you wanted to. How if we dressed him like far is the relay station not the not the lava forge relay station but the the ones that we're going to be at from where the sub is located do we think where the sub is located oh it'd be a lot harder to run from that relay station to the sub because of all the rubble in between like that area Mm. that west side of the city has not been excavated um yeah okay i think teddy and i need to make our way to the ship after everything blows is yeah because i need to help with the ritual as well Mm -hmm. i i have taught the ritual to our girl Gemma, just Gemma. in case yeah. but um mm-hmm. and and bobby knows it too mm-hmm. yeah so we're we're good on that front but we need to be there I, for extra manpower yeah i was more so thinking that if tanner dressed up as dan rather um uh kenneth boyles um mm-hmm. he could come with us to the relay stations in case we get caught and be like no everything's fine and then book it to the the sub from there, but that's not going to work because all that rubble. So mm-hmm. maybe he can bring Wash because though he might not be a professional, uh, that's sub true. Guy, he that's does true. have the most sub driving experience. Sub driving experience. He does. He does. So if you can escort Wash just walking yeah. around as a resident Yithian. Yeah, that would work. I think. Tanner about yeah. half an hour before lunch. If you could, you and Wash dress up. Well, you would dress up as as Boils, and then if y'all can make your way to the sub, so you're ready for that when the explosions happen. And I'll tell you his outfit like now, like out of character. I read it when no, I don't. <laughs> I'll tell you what his outfit look is. I'll be like, so this is the look. <laughs> Uh, you've, and, you've seen Lost this guy walking yeah, around he, a little bit uh, hmm. freely. Like no one's really talked about it, but the other things have been ignoring him practically he'll uh you know he'll kind of sketch uh you know as you're describing and as he's remembering this person this mysterious person he's seen he'll kind of sketch it on his pad and he'll say uh yeah i I can do it i can try to get as as many people as i can to that submarine maybe Mm, two at a time ideally it would be your crew yeah only four of y'all can fit in there yes yeah and yeah. so one extra person the professor. The yeah. professor's not like I uh, I don't know, like some sort of secret agent or something like that. He's a totally normal professor, right? Right. Yeah. No, he he's gonna be on the that's what he said. He if it, with his condition old. right now, yeah, he's old with his condition right now. He can't make it to the sub. So I'm gonna go get him right now to bring him here so he can just sit here and wait. Um oh, I, I he... think your best bet is you and Wash, um, and wash and your right if you can get Uriah and have Uriah come with you as well but I think you've already Arena you said you've got a note to Uriah so he's ready to go at noon anyway kind of I got a note <laughs> him, telling yeah that was a very vague note I didn't want to oh. put too much because I didn't oh. know yeah you might want to talk to your friend Uriah um, actually, I might talk to him as we change shifts. I'll just go a bit earlier. You do if you go earlier, you would cross. I'll let him know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I I can do this, and you'll tap the the picture that he's drawn. This person, human, mm-hmm. alien. Yeah. No, he he looks. I mean, so according to Parker, he's technically human with a Yithian mind in his head. Yeah, they but mind swapped. That was the way yeah. he explained body it to us. Swap. So body it's still technically is a human right now. It doesn't have technically. Yithian superpowers, I guess, if they have superpowers. Mind swapping and body swapping across space and time is their superpower. Yeah, what Goop said. Get really close what to What did Goop, Goop say? And... <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll kind of repeat it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tanner. <laughs> Uh, he'll stare into the bottle, uh, get really close so his nose is kind of touching the edge of the glass. He'll say, Goop, uh, yeah. this manager. Yeah. Uh, He's kind of sus. Can, if I run into him, yeah. we run into him, can he be killed? Uh, maybe. Uh, he's got, like, some protection magic, but, um... I beat the shit out of him and he did all right. Yeah. You punched him twice. I mean... I mean... I'm a professional boxer. Yeah, but he, he's he was smaller totally than fine. 
You're yeah. a professional boxer and he was totally fine. That's the problem. That's why I said if I was going to finish him, I'd shoot him directly in the head. Yeah. You've got some yeah. protection magic. You might be able to kill him. But he's. I think today, later today, he's going to be swapping bodies back to his original body and then... Some poor random human guy, whoever had this body originally, is going to be in the body. No, oh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be great. I'm um, probably going to be pretty confused. Bob Bobby does not relay that information to the group. <laughs> By the way, um, I completely and utterly missed the timing, Tanner, but I have to go and uh, do some welding now. I don't know how to delicately break this to you. <laughs> But you should try to live, because oh, you yeah. might be a father. Yeah, your girlfriend might be pregnant, by yeah. the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Congratulations, maybe. Thank you. Yeah, she, uh, she went and saw the doctor and did some tests. We did not get to hear those results of those tests before we were abducted, but just, you know, some incentive to get back to the surface to survive. You could be a father. <laughs> uh, he has walked away and sat back down and he's, without <laughs> even looking, he's packing his notepad and his camera, everything back into his bags. And he just kind of stares off. He slowly zips up the bag. Be a father. Didn't if it makes you feel any better, I mean, Irina and I thought we were gonna Bonnie and Clyde this shit. <laughs> just go out with the bang. Uh, but what the hell you know, does that mean? Just, just go out in a blaze of glory. I thought the plan was to. Oh, you that know, was try the initial plan, live. and we changed it to because okay. we're trying to look out for Tanner and the other people that would potentially. Oh, die. are we? Oh, okay. <laughs> Even then, we're not going to be able to save her. What? No. No, no. I, I, I told you, my concern is us, and that's it. <laughs> we're trying. This is, this is going to work. We can save everybody. We can save everybody. Sure, darling. This is going to work. Mm-hmm. Yep. We can save okay. everybody. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to do our best to do that. Yep. I'm going to... I'm gonna go get some clothes. Yeah. Perfect. Start right. uh, enacting the I plan. Yeah, go find all the people I need to talk to. So cute. Daddy looks at Bobby Bay walking out like. <laughs> yeah, as Tanner leaves, I'm like, this poor child is gonna be so upset when everybody dies. <laughs> yeah, most of these people ain't making it. No, because we're telling like ten people, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're telling Gabriel's crew to be on the ship for a minute. That's meeting. it. That's yeah, it. <laughs> and, and wash and then, his underground. Who, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and then, wash his group. Yeah, yeah. And then there might whoever, be twenty people total on a seventy-person ship. Yeah, it'd be fine. Well, uh, hey, we did say whoever makes it in before the bubble goes up, <laughs> if they see us getting the, the ship, except prepped, Tara, sure, except Tara. Yeah, probably We're kicking probably our ass back off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we, we can use her as distraction in the worst case, but anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So y'all split up. Uh, we're going to start with Irina. Irina, give me that mechanical repair check to weld. Teddy, are you assisting? Are you with Irina? Yeah, all right. So you get a... a, a oh, you don't need it. It's a hard success for you. Yes! Uh, you have assistance, but a hard success, yes. You are able to weld a connector in place. Um, so that way, when the Titan Uranus comes around, dangles a chain through, you can hook it on, secure it, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and that and cruise on out on the that's what C said. So it, and because it's a hard success, it doesn't take you as long as it thought as long as you thought it was going to. Um But while you're welding, because that's it is still gonna take like <laughs> like an hour or two. Um we're gonna cut over to Tanner. Tanner, you're getting clothes. You've met Andrea Johnson before. She is a rather stone cold lady who runs the pawn shop of the area. If you need batteries or something or whatever, if you have something to trade, you can get something for it here. 
But you see she's she's chilling in her usual position on a fold-up chair on a, on a little makeshift desk with a with a triangular piece of wood that says open closed and back uh, after lunch uh, and it's on the open sign at the moment she's got her feet kicked up and she's smoking a cigarette she must have gotten the cigarettes in a trade recently you know she was out for a little bit he's like oh Hannah what do you want um hey uh hey. see you got smokes back again that's that's good I did all this and so much more uh what you need uh, well, uh, I've got a list here, um, pulls out his pad, and it's just a list of the kinds of clothes he's looking for. Oh, uh, clothing! Uh, and in the right. numbers, lar very large quantities is what he's asking for, more than just, like, for their group. Like, he's yeah. probably asking for, like, 40 pairs of clothes. Sure, sure. Well, uh, it's your lucky day. We're having a, uh, flash sale on clothing today. Um, buy one, get ten free, so... Uh, what you see, you need a suit? Alright, yeah, yeah. Don't I have a picture. lot of those down here, but my husband, he had a couple. Um, who's the suit for? It's gotta be fitted for- I need dimensions for the suit at, at the very least. Uh, yeah, it's- I, I was thinking I would wear the suit. Um, Alright. You know, uh, I think, uh, but it don't- you don't have to tailor it or anything No, no, like no, that. no, you're about- I mean, you're a little- a little smaller. Um, not in build, but in height. You're a little shorter than my dead husband, but the rest should fit you pretty nicely. Come on, let's go check it. Let's go look in the closet. Uh, yeah. Hey, um. Yeah. How do you, how do you do it? How do I do what? How do you just, you know, run your shop here and live day by day like the world's normal and it still makes sense? Lots of hard drugs. Do you need some so co some cocaine, sweetheart? I got some cocaine. Never. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just a, All right. you know, just a, just a little bit, maybe. Have you ever done cocaine before? Uh, no. Okay, we're gonna, you know, maybe we'll start you off on. I got some stuff. Hold on, let's get you fitted for the suit first. All right. All right um. Yeah. And she takes you inside. Awkwardly spreads his arms out. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Oh, uh, you so you want to match that that weird guy who's been walking around with uh, uh, Lee Pocket Lee, right? That's the guy who's, whose suit you want to try to cock it. My husband has something like that. The tie's gonna be a similar, you know, slightly for no reason. different shade of blue. Hold on. Are you working with Pocket Lee? And uh, what's his name? Bobby May and Wash. Are you are you one on the? He kind of like lowers his eyes to her, like he's matching her gaze. Uh, I don't know. Do I get the vibe that she's in on this? They didn't list her as one of the people, right? <laughs> you do get the vibe, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. what this is all about. All the clothes are free then. Fuck me. Let's go. Uh, trying to match the guy. Uh, probably because, all right, sure, sure. And she like puts on a suit, goes, no, 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 that's just, that's just, no. Takes it off and puts on another suit jacket. There you go. The nice navy color. That's a bit closer to what he's got on. Um, yeah, that should work. And it fits pretty decently. It's a little long. Um, but besides that, it's a pretty good fit. She's, you're gonna want the dress shoes too, honey. It completes the look here. Yeah, we've got some um, brown ones. There we go. Husband was wearing a white suit when we got pulled down here, so the navy one's intact. Takes off his Reeboks, which are just beaten and worn so and torn to hell by now, right? These are like uh, name but... brand, like designer. They're like Gucci or whatever the big brands of the 80s are, the luxury brands. This is like a nice suit with a nice pair of dress shoes. Uh, he he holds on to his Reeboks like they're a precious part of his life for a few moments. And then he just tosses them in the pile and starts to put on the dress shoes and starts to tie him, and he looks up to her and says, Are you coming with us? Oh yeah, you know, they, they ain't leaving me behind. I gave them enough cocaine and batteries and supplies to the portable welder. Yeah, no, they're taking me with hey, them. Can I, uh, can I ask you for a favor? Sure, I haven't, sh I haven't shut up shop yet because I didn't want anyone to catch on. Yeah, what's the favor? Are you I'll planning on it. leaving 
You plan on making a run for it pretty much in the last minute? Not at the last minute. I'm going to uh, go on lunch break and uh, just not go in my ship. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can't, um, I can't reconcile how many people are here and how many people aren't going to make it out. I'm just thinking maybe if you could get some similar clothes set up here and ready, maybe I could um, tell some people to stop by shortly before we make our move. And you could just give them the clothes and tell them mm. they got to make a run for it. The more people who know, the easier it's going to be for the other things to catch on. But it makes you feel better. Most of the people down here are already dead inside. They can come back, though, you know? We can all come back. Give me a charm or a persuade check. Better. I do persuade. Okay. <laughs> do I do it? You can push Instead. it if you want. <laughs> Yep, I'll push it. I'll All right, you gotta get a 20. Lower. Nope. Nope. She'll go. She'll she'll see the genuineness behind you, so she goes, Sure, sweet, I'll have some clothes here. She doesn't say it the most convincingly, but that's what she says. He's just grasping on, like, he's just grasping on to what he wants to hear. And yeah. And so he says, thank you, thank you. These people deserve to get out of here alive. Just, just like just, us. Use the code phrase of, uh, she's having a clothing liquidation sale. Clothing. Free clothes. Li liquidation, yeah. I'll, I'll make sure mm -hmm. that gets spread around. Cool, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Uh, do you have a bag for all these clothes? Sure, yeah, some? the ones that you're definitely gonna need. The ones that I'm not holding on to here. Here you go. And she, like, she gets, like, some tote bags. I uh, like. I, like, one of them's, like, a makeshift fishing net, and it's just kind of, like, whoop, hands them to you. There you are. And by the time he's walking out of there, he's got a camera bag, his bag of supplies, a giant bag with a bunch of clothes, and Honey, he's wearing should, a slightly oversized suit. You should depot some of your personal possessions under that what C said. It'll complete the look a little better. Right. The camera yeah. bag. Yeah. You maybe. worried about someone stealing it? Talk to Gemma. She's the owner of that ship. She's got a lockbox. Thank you. No Thank problem. You. For everything, and he we'll just walks out, and, and he believes look, her. <laughs> yeah, poor sweet sad boy. Um, Bobby May, uh, who doesn't believe hardly anybody. Um, you are going to talk to Gabriel? Uh, no. First, I want to find Doctor House and Doctor House him to the yes. best that he said. Sure. Put him below. Yes. So it take, um, takes you a minute to find him because he is on cooking duty and he's starting to make breakfast, but you're able to get someone to replace, say he's like really sick or something. Um, yeah. He's able to fake sick pretty convincingly yeah, sure right looks, now. Yeah. He looks <laughs> awful. He's so gaunt. Um, yeah. And you all get to the that's what C said about the same time. Arena and, and Teddy, you've been there for a minute, but Tanner and Bobby make it there about at the same time. And Gemma comes up to the group of you all. Uh, also known as DJ Yakumama. Uh, Tanner, you have not really seen her around before. She must be on the opposite work shift as you, uh, but she does appear to be assigned manual labor because her clothes are filthy and her hands are all busted up and stuff. But she goes, hello, you all. I've been um, eagerly thinking about you know what, and um, I decided that we needed a bit of good luck. So I've done a tarot reading. Right, and what are the what are the cards? What's in uh, store she, for she's us? Like, she like holds out her deck, and I need mm -hmm. uh, one of you in our roll twenty to flip over the first card, the card on the left. We'll have we'll have that be uh, Irina. There you go. Okay. Flip over the leftmost card. The okay. three of you. That's the past. The past. Right, would the be magician's not bad. The magician. All right, now if someone could flip over the middle, Bobby. Oh, oh Teddy. There you go. The present is the fool. Ooh. And the future. Bobby May, would you would you do the honors? Sure. Uh how do I what? Just right click okay. on it and flip. click flip. Flip. Yep. The tower. That's pretty mm. good. Tower means destruction. So she looks at these and she goes, Alright. So in the past, 
There is a great gathering of resources or power and wisdom for some grand purpose. The current situation, well, it's a bit in flux, as those with power to act are um, inexperienced, confused, uncertain, perhaps. The future is a little bleak, um, for many paths lead to ruin, madness, desolation, and collapse. It doesn't mean all's lost, though. Um, the choices of the present are of the most dire nature, so make good decisions today, everyone. That is the, um, ooh, there's a three you picked. Interesting. Three um, major arcanas, that's... Yes, I was, I was quite surprised when those were drawn myself, but, um, you know, it could be worse. I'm going to take that last one, literally. She just, like, smiles I mean, it to it herself. it is a bit uncanny how we've got the device, and she points to the tower in the distance, and then the tower... Well, hopefully it's a good sign. She'll, like, pull up her cards again. Uh, looking straight Very at Very carefully, she and she's got... Know. Yeah, this, this deck is, like, from the 70s. It is... Uh, she's probably had this deck with her. It looks very well-loved, and the little silk case that it's in is also... She's probably had this deck since, like, middle school. Um... There's also some crystals in the card deck, like in like the the silk, you know, the silk, you know, wrapping it's got. Yeah, Gem is that kind Betty of. Betty is already like, I really don't give a shit about this at all. <laughs> you you see the eyes glaze glaze over, checked out. It's like I guess Arena's into it. Good for her. <laughs> it's just okay. Any bit of superstition helps now. Okay, we were looking, we we're lying in a magical bubble. Okay. <laughs> Yep, you're relying yeah. on a magic bubble. Yeah, and... this this is the 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 problem. <laughs> is all this shit's mixed up in his head? Like, so if I believe there's a talking oil slick in a whiskey bottle, then should I believe in tarot? <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's fine. I can believe in these weird aliens. I still won't believe in climate change. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're breaking Doctor Nelson's heart. Oh, oh, she's not here though right now. She's fucking with a volcano. Don't worry about it. Um, My girl. That's yeah. the homie right there. Ride <laughs> or die. <laughs> Y'all picked a good person to take down with you. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's not Heather. It's <laughs> not Heather. Not Heather. Ooh, she would not be doing great in this situation right I now. I don't think Heather would be doing very good right now. <laughs> so. All right. Let's get cracking, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you get your tarot reading to start off your day. Arena, you've pretty much finished the welding. Bobby May, you've yes. brought prof the professor over who will get settled down and take a nap. Slow deck. Yeah. Guys, let's go back. I have an idea before we, we start our days. And Tanner's wearing yeah, a nice suit. Hey. And, and Tanner, um, another way that you could sell, you know, being this uh, doctor, not doctor, Kenneth Boyle. Yeah. Um, take Parker with you. Because mm -hmm. him and Parker have like a thing going on. So uh, when you escort Wash to the um, the submarine, take uh, Parker with you. And then the four of y'all will go into the submarine. And yeah. the rest of us will be on the ship. Right, am I going to see you again before we leave? Probably not, well, but maybe. Depends well, on it's how. It's possible. Thanks, Shake Out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I thank you so much for risking everything you've risked to come down here for us. If uh, something goes wrong and, you know, we don't all make it out of here, but you make it. Hey, just, um, whatever happens, make up something that doesn't sound so bad, you know, when you tell her. Or she just gives you like another radio because we have like our little. Yeah. You can uh, hold oh, on hey. to this, and when you have everyone ready, you let us know, and you go to safety. Right. Yeah. Radio. Got and it. And you can tell her, make up something nice about what happened down here. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go blow this place up. I guess. I'm gonna make you sound heroic as fuck. He grins Whether at that. you make it or not. He likes Teddy now. <laughs> <laughs> and before you this. know it, uh, it's, it's, it's breakfast time. Do you all eat, partake of the 
Maybe your last meal of snail, or do you go to Instant your coffee for everybody. Instant and rations, coffee. because we're about to maybe die, so I'm not eating snail before death. <laughs> oh. No snail before death. I, so. I bust out all my military rations. You can have the Salisbury steaks along with me. <laughs> yes. MREs for the win. Uh, mm. Tanner, MREs and instant coffee. It, it, this is the first coffee and not snail food you've had since that bag of potato chips earlier today, and uh, first non-snail meat you've had in over a week almost two weeks now it's so good i think surprisingly like he only takes a bite or two of the actual rations he will drink the coffee and he's starting to like rub his nose uh, a little bit too <laughs> yeah, right. you got you got just a tiny bit of cocaine from uh it's, it's a lot for him <laughs> yeah she gave you yeah. like the baby's first dose of cocaine. yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> All right, we're gonna fucking do this. During breakfast, <laughs> I would like to find Gabriel. Sure. Yeah, he's got his bowl of snail soup. It's like miso soup, but with snail chunks. With snail chunks. Um, I'm gonna like pull him aside. Yeah. What you what what you need? How can I help? Pat, darling. So, um, as you know, me and my group were kind of new here, right? And we have been. Mm-hmm. Cooking up some things. You've been busy, fairly industrious, yeah. making friends, talking to people. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, and we're actually looking to um, have like a little meeting today. Oh, at, okay. Uh, at, at noon on the what kind of a meeting. A, a meeting, like um, like to talk about improving like the conditions down here, about the, like, pulling resources yeah. or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, about conditions, resources. Um, you might want to bring a couple people, just like your most trusted, most sure, ones like that, the other uh, like pillars of the uh, sure, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, what exactly. you can call the community down here. Sure, sure, we can do that. Right, right, yeah. and and just you know, make sure uh, you'll have to slip away. You won't the yeah, the, the our yeah. So just as, as quietly as possible, just head that to the, that's what C said around noon. All right, sure, sure. Okay, okay. all right, perfect. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, no, of course, darling. All right. Cracks his knuckles. Just just pounds that bowl of, of soup <laughs> just to get it out of the way and, and to go talk mm. to a couple people before the shift begins. And before you know it, the shift begins. Ooh. Hear the long, low tone signaling that it's time to go to work while your respective stations. So for Bobby May and uh, Parker, that would be... Manual labor. Normally for Tanner, too, but Tanner, you are uh, in disguise at the moment. Uh, Teddy and Irina, you two head to the Lava Forges. We're going to follow y'all for a moment to the Lava Forges. Um, I'm going to go early to bump into Uriah and let yeah, him know Russian you, to go. You guys go early, and you do see Uriah there. Uriah with his uh, Lava Forge partner. Um, let me roll to see how his work shift went. Went really, really well. Uh, he got for your, the hippos uh, in. Oh, you know, he. I rolled earlier for the hippos. That was also an extreme success. Um, he's put in some sabotage and some hippos. And uh, um, since I don't have these people here today, I have decided to do the next best thing. I don't oh have my. full disguises, but I do have sunglasses that kind of match wash in your eyes. So, mm -hmm. uh, your eyes. Uh, in Russian, because you wrote your wrote note in Russian. If you mm -hmm. address him in Russian, he will say yeah. in Russian to you. Ah, so you're the one who left the note. I did. You should go to the summer when you can. Yeah, Tanner. one problem with that, the uh, management, let's say, as uh, once all hands on deck on the lava forge, because today's the day, so you can guess, say I'm pulling a double. Well, looks like you're running with us when the tower collapses today. Yep, yeah, to either the, uh, we all going to, uh, yeah, Wash hasn't really told me anything of his, of his super little plan. You uh, and your, your group are going towards the submarine. Okay, all right. One problem with that, I hear it's dry docked. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Tanner. Kid ain't really all muscle. We're gonna have to, uh, scooch it to the, uh, edge of the bubble. How many of the people here are... In the forge, we trust. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that one more time? I just I didn't catch. How it. many people here at the forges do you trust? 
Uh, nobody. Perfect. Then we're gonna have to rely on Wash's people to run to the submarine. Okay. Although, we could ha ask somebody here and then just take care of it. And he lifts up his shirt and you see a pistol just tucked in to the front of his pants. Teddy sees the pistol and Teddy lifts up his shirt and is like... I, 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 put, I, I put a hand on, like, on Teddy's arm. Like, it's all right. It's okay. I don't know what he's saying. Yeah. And, and like, you, really, you really are from the motherland. Um, don't tell anybody. If you, if you can get someone to... If you can get some people to move it from here, that's the mm -hmm. most important thing. And then just get rid of them. Okay. Tanner's not going to like it. He's, but he's pretty strong. He'll be helping protect the others going towards the ship. All right. So it'll be myself, Wash, Tanner. Uh, we got one more. That will be Parker. Parker. He's with us. Parker. You right. will... So don't shoot Parker. No. He. Okay. I'm going to give him a quick description of what Parker looks like. Oh, and, right. okay. and the submarine we're going to be attaching to, that's what C said, we're going to make a bubble Ooh. and go up. Okay. Uh, submarine did take a little damage uh, when the Shoggoth... We've checked it. Built, right? We've yeah. checked it. Oh, good. Working. Structurally? Integrally? Didn't Parker say it was, it was fine? He said it was working fine. Uh, Parker does not know, like... He didn't check the outside super well. We'll have to have someone check it again. I can do a quick um, check, but I'll need a little bit more time. Maybe I'll uh, need to go to the bathroom or something, if you know what I'm saying. You could cover from here for a minute. Um, she just looks at Teddy. I did let the note said, by the way, there's... Uh, it's up Perfect. in there. Yeah. Um, how are the bills? Gonna work? How, how, does, does Uriah and Teddy, like, do they look... Close enough that they can close swap or what? Like I'm trying to figure it out. Like so, Uriah, uh, to... he's very punk. He's got mm -hmm. what remains of a mohawk, uh, amazingly still intact, somewhat with shape, somehow during all of this. Probably hasn't showered. That's probably the answer. Um, mm -hmm. he's got sleeve tattoos up his both of his arms. Shades on, even working the Lava Forge. Uh, similar, probably a little smaller than Teddy in build. Okay, so I, we're tall. gonna have to arrange a, a bathroom break instead. Yeah. Yeah. Just have him if double check that the submarine tow line is good. I'll, that's fine, I can try to cover for you cool. while you're gone. Alright, then just send the, send the other, that other schmuck there to help me move the sub. I'll tell him we're escaping and then pop a couple. It'll be fine. I'll, um, I'm, I'm gonna translate to Teddy, by the way, uh, give him the lowdown, mm -hmm. like, we need to send somebody else to go help, uh, move the sub, kill them, and, uh, go from there, because, uh, we don't, we can't fit that many people, unfortunately, the person who is gonna help us is just gonna have to die for their efforts. I do what right. I gotta do. Yep. Let's if forge. you can help me talk to somebody. Yes, go! And I Sorry. need those mechanical repair checks, please. Let's see. I'll have your rhyme make another Shamo. one. Huzzah! Yes. And your rhyme is on fire today. He's not even here. Um. Yeah, y'all three crushing it at the forge. Uh, Uriah in particular, he see uh, he didn't know what the whole Wash's plan thing was because he didn't really see Wash much. Uh, but he, but escaping on a submarine sounds like a good plan to him, and he's willing to help. So y'all are crushing it at the forge and waiting for your moment, which will probably be when the tower blows up, which isn't your responsibility. Whose responsibility that is? Yes, Irina. I do still need to get close to the lava flow, don't I? You do. Yes. And where is that specifically? You in can see. Um, so your for each of your forges has a connection to the lava flow. However, the substation is just on the other side. You can see it. It's like right next to where the uh, makeshift bathroom has been created. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to need to use the bathroom around lunchtime. Yep. Yeah, something bad with that batch of snails this morning. Everyone's gonna have to go to the that bathroom or something. Um, 
Whoops. Have the doctor make excuses for us. Yeah. <laughs> I need a doctor's note. I'm sure the elder things will respect that, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> Why not? But someone whose job it is to uh, maybe deal more with the explosion side of things and the timing of things is Bobby May. Bobby May, you and uh, Parker, for now, are uh, working on rubble removal, which means you're checking on... Uh, your vulcanologist, fr climatologist friend, Dr. Renee Nelson. Yes. Could you give me your stealth check, unless you're just checking in on the radio, to uh, visit her? Do we know if they have anything to detect radio signals? You like don't. I, you have no idea. Off? Okay. You've not tested wanna... radios, walkie-talkies yeah. at all down here. I, I don't want to risk it. Mm-hmm. I think at the moment until sure. we're ready, so I will attempt to slip in. Yeah, uh, Washes Underground will give you a, a distraction bonus of they're gonna spill another wheel wheelbarrow full of rubble, um, okay, right in front of the other things. Uh, so that'll give you a plus twenty percent. Plus twenty. Okay, so that's forty then. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Do you want to push it, uh... or or do you want to just accept the failure? <laughs> Um, I, I would need 42 points of luck <laughs> if I were to luck it. I will say you can only spend 30 points of luck at a time. Oh, at a time. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll just accept it. Okay. So you're trying to sneak off to check in on their progress it's like mid morning, and um, you trip, and a, a small little rubble slide goes down a building. It's very noticeable, uh, and mm -hmm. some elder thing eyeballs look in that direction, and they see you, and gesture broadly at you, which means you've you've learned enough to be like, hey, that's out of bounds. Is kind of like the the direction oh, of that meaning, okay. uh, like hey. This is your chance to rectify your mistake. Okay. Um, you get one. Um, one, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll head back then. If you'd like, Parker can make an attempt. Um, I don't think Parker's stealth is much better than mine. I don't sure. think it is, but we don't know. Let me look at it. His stealth. Nope, it's not much better than yours, but you can give it a go. You might roll lucky. Um, Might be better than me. Maybe my distraction oh. helps as well. <laughs> His your distraction uh, would if if you were going from different angles, he would be able to get in. Yeah. Okay. And check okay, on the perfect. doctor. Um, which I need to make a check for that doctor. Oh, give me a second. There's a lot of things riding on a lot of specific roles here right now. Ooh, that's not ideal. Um, thankfully she gets to make does one she, of these. Well, does she have? Cause she has help with um. Bronwyn. Bronwyn's she does with her. have help with Bronwyn. Uh, she's going to push it. Because this is okay. important. Yeah. Cool. It's a good thing Bronwyn's there. Hold on. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna so Hannah's not here, but I'm gonna have uh, Bronwyn needs to make a check. Um Don't worry about this check. It's fine. Uh cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, everything's fine in there. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm not there. I don't know what's going on. You don't on. know. It's fine. fine. Everything's fine. There's no medical emergency or crisis. Uh, there are all right now. Whatsoever. It's fine. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> she will make a medicine check as well, though. Oh, okay. Things have gotten better. Um... So the rest of your uh, your your work shift's going pretty okay. You do know that you do need to set off the explosion, but you're waiting to hear back from Parker and Bronwyn, and it's taking longer than it should to hear okay. back. It's making you a little nervous, Bobby May. I think, uh, like, how close? In? Yeah, how close do we get from like? to lunch time before, I, like, when I haven't heard back from them. Is it, like, 11.30? Like, like close, Parker said it would take about half an hour to, uh, 
to check in on Bronwyn at 10 o'clock. It's 11.15. Okay. I'm going to take, like, a bathroom break. Yeah. It's been, it's 45 minutes longer than he said it was. Longer, yeah. And I'm going to, I'm I'm just, I'm going to, I have to, I'm just going to, uh, what's going on? What the fuck's happening? Don't worry about this. Okay. Um... Uh, yes, hi. Uh, everything's fine now, but there was a moment where uh, we added one chemical a little too quickly, and there was a small uh, backfire. Thankfully, it's a really good thing you left the doctor here. Um, I'm fine for now. I would love more medical attention when, when you know, when we get, you know, a hospital, but um, I'm okay. Uh, I'm just gonna need, I'm gonna need some help getting to the boat, maybe. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh. Brown one's there. Brown one will help you. Um. Great. We'll we'll get somebody else to assist as well. Um. Are Are you good to Are you ready? Yeah. It's uh. It's it's going pretty well, and they haven't seemed to notice. I haven't noticed any adjustments further up on the flow. Okay. Uh. All right. Then. Um. Wait for the explosion, and then we're good. <laughs> okay. Um, remember to remind have people add silica at the other two stations. Yeah, yeah. As soon as the explosion goes off, they're gonna do that. Okay, great. Great, good. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and it's not long before Parker uh rejoins you and he's he's got a look in his face of like, ooh. What the hell, Parker? Go find Tanner. You you're okay. sorry. You, you need to go with him and get on the submarine. Antiseptic. Okay. Jesus Christ, go! <laughs> and I sent him off to find Tanner to be ready to go uh, towards the submarine when that happens. Okay, Parker goes off to find Tanner. It is about that time. I'm just gonna roll a few things here, but, but first let me put on the appropriate mood music. <clears throat> Guys are getting ready. Gotta set up with some explosions and stuff soon. So, it's- I wouldn't worry about what any of these mean. That's good um, for y'all. That's okay for y'all. How are you gonna say I should- I wouldn't worry about that and then tell us whether they're good <laughs> or okay? It's fine! Um... That's also cool. good for y'all. Cool, cool, cool. Let's have two more. Two more little things for, for different things. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So, mm-hmm. it is 11.45 p- or a.m. on the 24th. Wednesday, 24th of April, 1986. Bobby Bang, you're up first. Someone needs to light the C4. You rigged yeah. it all up. But you still have to light the fuse. Someone has I, to light the fuse. Do you light the fuse or do you have one of our people light the fuse? Uh, no, I think Bobby goes and Bobby light because she wants to make sure it's done right. So. Okay. Give me a dex check. A dex check. Mm-hmm. Dex. It's your whole ass check right now. You <laughs> like the silicon <laughs> now, same time, Christ. right? No, when the explosion goes off, you do the silica. Okay, perfect. Um, mm-hmm. So. I would have to get, what, a 32? 33. And up. And I can only spend 30, so even if I spend it, I wouldn't. Okay, I'm gonna push it. I have push to. It. Push it. Push <laughs> it. Okay. okay. Oh. Wonderful. The fuse is lit. Uh, Tanner, you're up. It's getting close to explosion time. It is, it is time to move uh, Parker to the submarine. Uh, you are dressed as Kenneth Boyles. Uh, how confident are you feeling? And wash. Well, so, and wash. And wash. And wash. Yeah. yeah. So oh, I'm sorry. Here's a question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think Tanner probably has a slightly better grasp of the plan than I do. Um, yeah. Is there a way? Because could I have gotten washed to the submarine? earlier and then gone back for Parker? Or yes. am I supposed to take them both at the same nope, time? Nope, you can do, you can make trips uh, 
Pruitt wished for me to do uh, aviators and a mustache, so here we are. Um, <laughs> I thought about getting my blonde wig, and I was like, no, that's too much. Uh, so he gets this. This is why she's like, yeah, man, yeah, this is gonna be great. We're gonna, we're gonna be, we're gonna, this is gonna be great. This will be fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna pilot the sub. Yeah. Get us yeah. out of here. They, they brought you're some, uh, sub pilot. I'm a, yep, I got, it's all, all up here. You, and then uh, the, and then this manual that uh, someone someone just happened to have down here, wild. He uh, he thinks about all, and he's told as many people as he can about the clothing clearance <laughs> sale. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Liquidation sale. Uh, the liquidation sale. Yeah. He, he's trying to get Wash to the submarine quickly, too. Um, yeah. Marching along. Give me, give me, uh, dex, give me a dex check. I want to see how fast you guys move. How, how subtle. Uh, how much you book it. Oh, if Wash make it too. Oh, Wash is not the most dexy. That's fine. That's fine. All right, dex. Great. New. It takes you longer than you'd like to get to the submarine because you haven't been to the submarine since it's been dry docked down here so it takes you a little longer to find it than you would like um, he's got some other things on his mind too he tries mm -hmm. to stay focused and not get distracted but maybe he gets mixed up a couple of times um and slows him down as well uh while he's trying to take wash there he'll say all right i'm, I'm gonna leave you there and i want you to get ready and act the plan uh yeah I'm gonna get I'm gonna get her started up, you know, make sure everything's good. How are you dealing so well with all this, man? You know, I just gotta keep a positive attitude. Uh you know, believe in yourself. It like gives you like a shoulder slap. Takes like a little baggie out of his <laughs> out of his pocket <laughs> and scoops something. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, helps I do too. Believe in myself. I do yeah. believe in myself. It helps too. Yeah. yeah. Good job, man. All right, all you right. got this. We got this. Just uh, bring yeah. that uh, Parker guy to the sub. We'll get, we got this. We got this going. Right. Yeah. Ah. That's my. That's my job. I'm gonna bring Parker. I'll yeah. join you soon. You just get out of here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We got this. I take her over. And he gives the sub a look over. <laughs> <laughs> For a non sub pilot, he's really good at he's, sub pilot. <laughs> he studied a lot about yeah. those inst the instruction manual yeah, that, that he hospital. bribed uh, some guy from MIT to give him the alpha version of the plans. It's not the final plans, things have changed, but it's good enough. You gotta believe in yourself, man. That's the key. Key. Uh, he still doesn't know what to make a wash, he'll forever be a enigma <laughs> to him. But he'll he, yeah he'll leave Wash at the submarine and grab his bag and start to head back and he's mm -hmm. been thinking a lot. Um, at first he heard you might be a dad, and he'd completely written off the idea that he would ever leave, that he would ever see mm -hmm. Heather again. Now he's found out she's hired people and sent them here to rescue them, yeah. and that and that she might be pregnant. Um, and I think initially that's all exciting, like it re-sparks hope for him. But then other thoughts begin to creep in. He remembers that Heather, you know, could sometimes be really kind of childish and immature, and he feels immature. And wait, should they be parents? Is this the legacy I want? I, I never imagined myself as a father. He thinks about a different legacy. He thinks about everything that he's seen here everything he's caught on film and he knows that he hasn't seen it all he knows that if he could share this with the world that it would change the world and that there's an area here where those things live there is he takes a detour before okay. heading back to parker while you're on your detour, I'd have you make a luck check, but you don't have yeah, any I can't more luck. Fail. <laughs> <I'm> zero. <laughs> you can't succeed. So you run into somebody dressed in a suit, a lot like yours, as you're walking around. 
Read it confidently, thanks to the cocaine. And this person looks, stops, and looks at you. You've kind of styled your hair a bit differently. As much as I can, yeah. And he goes, I mean, it's a good look, but <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Right, well, You see uh... Kenneth Boyles. I've never really talked to him before, right? Nope. But it, according to my new friends, he's got an alien in his He does. Brain. He does. Mm hmm. Uh, he kind of sniffs a little bit, rubs his nose, and says, uh, <laughs> You know, I've been down here so long, you lose a sense of who you are doing the work that we're doing. And. Mm. I've been seeing you walking around in a suit, and hmm. I don't know, I just wanted to feel like a person again. You know what I mean? You can give me a fast talk check. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he goes, you look familiar. <laughs> Not just because you're dressed up like me. Um, what's your name? I don't think we've met. Uh, yeah, I haven't met you before. Tanner. Uh, Tanner Huntington. Um, Tanner Huntington. Why is that name familiar? It's probably because uh, when I first came down here, I, mm. uh, you know, shot, I don't even know if you understand what, I, what I'm talking about, but maybe you do, shot some footage, almost like an interview. I'm a, a historian of sort of. Footage, sorta. footage camera. I like um, This is history. gonna sound, sound a little strange. Uh, sorry, I could ignore everything you said. Um, did you have a sister, by any chance? Yeah. Yeah, I had a sister. That's why you look so familiar. Makes sense now. Yeah, of course. <gasps> hey, um... What was her name? Oh, it's been a while since I've seen her. Oh... It's Huntington. It was the last name that got me. What was your sister's name? Oh, well... He sets his bag down on the ground uh, and unzips it and says, you know, Would you mind terribly much if... Uh, maybe I get another interview with you. I've had some questions, and you know, you're so magnificent. I'm sure you want to be a part of history. Well, I already am a part of history, but I'd be happy to give a little interview. Why not? He nods and bends down, unzips the bag, and says... Mm, sister's name uh lily that's right lily i remember lily. i thought it was a flower of some kind of thing rose no lily lily huntington that's right how long has it been since she um but well, I, I doubt you've seen her in a while have you yeah it's been a while what five years now longer hmm can i can I ask you a question? Hmm, of course. I don't suppose you watch our movies, our films. Well, maybe you do. Depends on the mood. I can be an avid film lover. It's a good way to learn a lot of society. You know, what kind of movies they make. What they decide to document. Very interesting. You've seen Return of the Jedi? Yes! Classic! How's it, um... turn out for Hans and Leia in the end? Oh, have you not seen it? I don't know if I want to give spoilers. He pulls out <laughs> his handgun and opens fire. <laughs> Alright, give me a handgun check. I don't suppose... <laughs> there's, there's no reason for him to get any kind of bonus here. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's gonna go awful. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do you push it? Do I push it with a 10% chance of success? Yes. All right, push it. <laughs> you know? He's never fired a gun before. He's, he's never, never fired I mean, a gun before. He's never fired a gun. He's never done cocaine. Uh, and right now, not all, all he can see, he's trying to stay focused. He knows he's in a dangerous situation. And, but the only thing he can see is that video, that VHS of his sister on the ceiling, burning alive, screaming. Yeah. And your gun jams, Tanner, because you pushed it. You... Which is a boon, because no one hears a shot go off throughout the city. Uh, so, you know, there's benefits to this, but the hard thing is, you're gonna have to fix the gun before you can shoot it again. Uh, you click it, and it jams. It gets a little hot in your hand, but other than that, it doesn't fire. Can you also make me a con check for all that cocaine you've been snorting sure. at animals? Yeah. You're doing hey, I succeeded on something. You, you succeeded <laughs> it's the, on the cocaine check of all things. Hey, look, you know, we've got a history of cocaine and Call of Cthulhu, you and I. You threw mine overboard last time. Uh, now you get to take some, so. It's, you found it! It's at the bottom of the ocean down here. Um, uh, so you're, you're doing okay. Your heart's racing a bit, but you're under control. And he walks up to you. <laughs> What's his hand on the gun? That's cute. Your sister. I know where she is. She's not dead. That's what you were thinking. But you're gonna have to tell me why you're trying to impersonate me. Pulling a gun, that's not... Not terribly polite now, is it? He's trying to get close. How close is he to that place where they live? Where the other um, things live? You're probably... I know he saw eggs once. Like a whole bunch of you eggs. did see a whole bunch of eggs once. Excuse me. Um, the eggs are at the lowest level because it's the warmest level. Um, you are on the other side of the device between the device and the ship graveyard. So you're... um. That little gray blob halfway between, you're on the right-hand side of that. You're not very far. You could probably get there in about another five-minute walk to the, towards the nursery. It's hard for him to keep all of the things happening right now straight in his mind. Mm -hmm. uh, and he can't let himself believe that his sister's alive. Um, and so... He looks past him, and he says, I'm just here to find something that's true. Oh, you sweet summer child. Are we too early for that? I can't remember. Regardless, so many things can be true at once. Truth is often too much for a human mind to handle. What kind of truth are you looking for? I could offer you many truths myself. The other things, well, they're not as congenial to most things as us Ithians are. Thinks about Parker. Thinks about the people who are coming down that any moment there's probably going to be an explosion. Uh, that there's a Soon. whole series of things that are supposed to happen. And he tries to push that out of his mind because he knows that that could all go away in a moment right here. And he reaches out for the man's hand and says, yeah, maybe you, you can show me the truth. Maybe you can help me up. Which truth would you like to know? Uh, his other arm slings under the bag, under the the strap of the bag, mm -hmm. and then he is going to try to bite this man's hand as hard <laughs> as he can and sprint away from where the explosion's gonna happen, where everybody's gonna mm -hmm. be moving, and try to go to where the elder things are. Okay, give me a brawl check. Hey. 
I hey, succeed. you do succeed. Ah, you, you would think that your bite would have left more of a mark. It, it was it, like, you know, like when you, um, if you bite accidentally on the like tin foil, that feeling you get, that's the feeling you get when you bite this man's hand. But you do, you hit the shell, he, he does get ugh, bumped over. Um, <laughs> and you were able, and you were able to run over, he, and you just hear behind you a, well, it does not bode well for Lily. As you run off towards the Elder Thing place. Uh, and right now, he's just thinking uh, sheerly about Heather. Um, mm -hmm. But he's trying to lead this thing away from the others, and he has to see. He has to know. Okay. He, he has to capture it if he can. Okay. Bob and May. Parker has gone off to yes. find Tanner. It's time. I would... I would yes. like to say um, that I would have given Goop to Parker. Okay. Goop is with Parker. I would have said goodbye to Goop and given Bye, him to Bob Parker. and May. Please don't explode. <laughs> Darling, I will do my damnedest. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. You too, darling. <laughs> and uh, you made that dex check. Mm -hmm. Could you make me a second dex check? Mm hmm Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Pull myself mm -hmm. up. Absolutely. Oh, that's a success. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> you don't completely blow yourself up. Mm -hmm. um, you Good. will take some damage. The first dex yes. check was to see uh, about the lighting it. About how, mm. how close up... You're having a hard get... time lighting it. You had to get a little closer. Yeah, yeah. That's that's fair. That's fair. Bobby's never done explosives before. That's so... It would have been really bad if you had failed the second one. <laughs> but mm -hmm. instead, you don't take full explosion damage as you are running out this tunnel. It's still not going to be pretty. Um, let's see. 11 points of damage. I have 12 health, okay? <laughs> so, that just about kills me. Bobby May, look, it was going to be more D6s if you hadn't made the second dex check. Mm -hmm, I'm alive. C4 barely. is a bitch. Um, a bitch. With, with gas canisters and gasoline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby May. You know how that people warning, people like that when people say in movies, like, oh, it's so cool to walk away from the explosion. They're like, no, 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 you should really be running because run. it, that, that, the post heat and uh, force will shock get you. Wave. Yeah. You get hit by the shock wave. <laughs> the first time I rolled decently against Uh-huh, yep. I'm so glad I took the hit to my sanity today because I was going to take it to my hit points. <laughs> I would have died. You would have been alone so in that tunnel and everyone would have been like, where's Baba Bay? Where's She'd Baba been Bay? Dead at the bottom nope. of the ocean. Yep. <laughs> so yeah. you get hit by the shockwave. Your head is ringing. Oh, by the way, we've started the shockwave. <clears throat> it's go time. So, you get hit by the shockwave. It hurts. Your head is reeling sweat instantly. Everything on, behind you, your entire backside, hurts. You think you might be burns. a little on fire in some places. Yeah. Uh, you stop, drop, yeah. and roll. Everything is pain, but you know you have to get out of here. Can you give me a con check? Yes. It's it's a struggle. It's a struggle to stay together. Uh, it's gonna take you longer to stumble out because if you okay. it's yeah. Did uh did, did was my radio exploded? Do I still have my radio? Roll me a luck check. Oh no. Nope. Oh, so close. Nope. Nope. Do you have one luck left, or you can't you push can't, can't spend, spend luck, luck on luck. Damn. Luck. Damn. Yeah. That's so upset. <laughs> yep. So close. So, you look your radio, uh, it's partially melted. 
Just just mm -hmm. enough that it's unusable. You could probably try a quick repair, but te mechanical repair is not I your don't, jam. Yeah, yeah. Electrical I don't know repair. anything about mechanics. Yeah, yeah. It, it's repairable, but it's not functional at this moment in time. Okay. So no one knows gonna about your predicament. Start trucking my way out then. As you're trucking your way out, Teddy and Irina, you're looking your watches. It's about time that people should go to the bathroom. Uh, Cause any second now, kaboom! Uh, I'm going to need to go to the bathroom because uh, cramps. Yes. So does um, Uriah. So. And yeah, Teddy. Uh, Salisbury steak ain't sitting right with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so we're gonna use the bathroom. That's good because then you're also not by the forges when this very large explosion goes off, and, which. Uh, is a good thing. Yes, we we're going regardless. I think just because we got to keep on time. Um, and I'm gonna get my silica gel. It's a very good our... explosion. Yes. So, you uh, <laughs> the ground underneath y'all does a shudder. It almost feels like an earthquake, uh, for a moment, and the tower. <laughs> starts to totter and crumble. The elder things are freaking out. They are, you know, they're freaking out. They're freaking out. Uh, you, it, the explosions did a really good job. Um, How is the sleeping thing immediately around them as well as they're freaking yeah, out? Yeah, they gotta make checks for that. And since you guys are by the bathroom, you don't have to. That's good. Um, Cause it's a, it's a dome area. So let me see. It's a contested power check against the spellcaster. Or the initial caster, who was Ash. He had a good power check. So, I already rolled for him, so I just gotta roll. I'm just gonna roll this, just to see. Okay. Uh, they rolled a little better than I expected, but not good enough. Only one of them it does not succumb to this uh, sleeping potion. This sleepy powder. <sighs> Coyote dust. That comes out. Um... But it will last for 3d10 minutes, so I would like each of my regular players to roll a d10 to see how long this lasts. No, I've done teamwork to make this dream work. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh, cool. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I knew one of us had to fuck it up. <laughs> Look, 17 minutes is a lot better than 3 minutes. That is the lowest you could have gotten. The maximum was 30. You got above half. Above average. So, for 17 okay. minutes, these elder things will be magically AO'd, and the one who is left standing is confused, because obviously this is magic. Why are these people magically asleep? Why is the tower falling over? Can anything be done to save this? He is having a, a, It's his very bad day. Yes. Um, Next this, yeah. And so, scatter, Teddy and Irina, you gotta pour some... You gotta get the right supplies. Uh, can you give me dex checks? to uh, get into the substation and dump the right chemicals into the port. Thankfully, it's active, so you don't have to turn the substation on. Okay, perfect. So, Dex. Oh, hey! So, We're doing... Yes. Okay. Well, oh, dream, team. <laughs> dream team! Dream <laughs> team. Dream team, dream team. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have Uriah make his Dex check. Just because he's got to go, he's got to go sub, to the yeah. sub. Yep, and do his little dex check. Ooh, uh, he'll push it. <clears throat> he pushes it nice. successfully. Very nice. Hey, Uriah Love it. Love it. does not want to be stuck down here working in the lava forges for the rest of his short life. If this thing had gone off, um. Short life in general, because he was not doing great on sanity either. Uh, he books it to the lava forge with the other. You know, person who's on shift with him. You, who's gonna help yeah. and die. Uh, yeah, though, basically. Jimmy, might I actually have space if uh, Tanner's not on? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, we'll see, have to see about that. So, Bob and Bay, you're struggling to get out. Teddy and Irina, you're dumping chemicals. Tanner. We get back to you. You're creeping over to the... Are you doing the stealthily or are you just walking over? Because you're Kenneth Boyles. 
I think, you know, he runs from Kenneth Boyles, but if he has to turn, you know, if there's a corner, or he can break mm -hmm. visual, then he's going to, I mean, his gun is useless and he's useless with it. Uh, he's going to take the camera out of the bag, okay. leave the bag behind and try to sneak in. If there's any sort of like, you know, Give if me there's self any chaos check. elsewhere, yeah. can I use that as his moment to try to sneak in? Uh, did you stealth? Hey. Hard success. You are stealthy, and the other things are very distracted. As as you're sneaking around with your camera out, boom! The explosion goes off, and uh, it's things are on fire. Not immediately around you, but in general, things are on fire. Uh, and you and you and immediately the other thing, housing, apartment complex. Nursery, who's to say, uh, becomes a lot more livelier. Uh, it's usually very quiet, they're very chill. But this was a very large, loud explosion that literally shakes the ground you're standing under. Shh, parts of the uh, ruins that people are excavating are starting to collapse in a bit. It's it's big, there's a lot of rumbles. Uh, they are writhing around and they are going to have a harder time noticing you, but they will try to notice you. Wow. They had a minus because of the explosion. And because of that minus, it does not beat. It is not an extreme success. So you are okay. But if they had crit, you would have been, you would have been, yeah. But they didn't crit. They're too off from it. <laughs> so, uh, but they are very visible. You almost get caught several times creeping around just because all, all, a lot of the older ones and the adolescents are even just moving out to try to figure out what's going on and to fix this. He's trying to capture, you know, and he'll turn corners, he'll hide, jump, uh, mm -hmm. duck down behind rubble, and he's trying to capture eggs, their nursery, where they live, if they're writhing, how they're moving, the yeah. explosion goes off, mm -hmm. he'll kind of Give whisper a camera into the check. camera. Oh, yay. I never yeah. made these. I know. You've made a it's few. What I'm actually good at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Hard success. Okay. Good. Uh, so he's trying to capture this footage, which I imagine, beyond it being alien, kind of looks like what it would look like if you're uh, doing war footage, right, in an yeah. active battle. Mm -hmm. uh, and when the explosion goes off and he's gotten a good deal of their nursery, um, he's just been very quietly, whenever there's distraction or he has enough space, just rattling off things. So he, he talks about how many people are here that we've been taken and maybe they've taken people before, maybe they've taken people for centuries, for thousands of years, there's no way to know. But that, then he lists off Bobby May uh, and Irina and Teddy and uh, talks about them coming down, the plan that they've made, that they're heroes. And maybe this place won't survive. Maybe we'll never see these creatures again, but they were here and this is proof yeah, broken Inside's lava tubes are spurting lava on where the tower has now fallen because it, you got you get a good explosion. It, 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 very good, very good explosion. Yeah, lava's spurting out of empty tubes. You can see it catching things on fire and whenever you pan back towards the background. And uh, yeah, you're able to get some footage. How long do you stay and get footage before? I think as long as it takes him to try to tell his story okay. uh, and the story of since they've been there. So maybe like, you know, five minutes uh, okay. footage as he's kind of voiceovering quietly in between pauses. And when he's done, um, he, he'll he sign off. He'll say, uh, if anybody ever sees this, this is Tanner Huntington. It was a simple job, but it's nothing simple in our world. Not beneath the surface, not things that you can't see, but they are real. Good luck out there. And he shuts the camera. Hey, you shut off the camera. Then what do you do? He thinks about his sister, about that promise. And she's alive, but he can't let himself believe that. And he has to choose right now if he's gonna maybe be a father maybe see Heather again, or maybe see his sister again. And then he thinks about these people that have come to help him, and mm -hmm. he knows they have a friend, Parker, and that friend is gonna need help. 
And so he turns and he is going to run to go find Parker and try to get him to the submarine. Okay. I'm going to try to find Parker. Parker has been trying to find you this entire time. He's going to make a spot hit and check. I'm so sorry, um, Parker. <laughs> would have been funnier if he was actually here tonight to be like, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize he's a player character. He's a player character? That. Yeah. I'm he's, so sorry. <laughs> you would say I was not here tonight. Uh, <laughs> but it would have been very funny. Uh, but he does see you as you're coming back over. And he's like... Where have you been? We've got to get going now. Oh, yeah, yeah. The manager knows. Uh, he knows. Uh, he knows. We got to go. Okay, yeah, let's go. And you just start booking it towards the submarine. Um, the manager's going to do something. <laughs> Interesting. One more thing. Ooh, okay. That's exciting. All right. So... As you guys are going across towards the submarine, booking it, uh, Irina and Teddy, y'all have dumped all the chemicals you need to. You see little, like, things flashing on that display. You're guessing it's a lot of warnings. They just keep popping up and popping up and popping up. And you hear on your walkie-talkies, because you two have a walkie-talkie as well, you hear Dr. Nelson, hello, uh, Whoever's at the other way substation, can you hear me? It's been dumped. We gotta go. If you could, I, I think we can also, um, we can make it a little extra. What do you the mean? Flow, the flow comes in at the base. Yeah? Yeah? We've been cooling the base. Grab some of the stuff that heats it up. Uh, it's the, it's the, the, the blue ones. The, the blue labels. Um, okay. With the little squiggly that looks like a house but upside down. Okay. That's kind of cracked in half. That one. Yeah. Yep. Um, if we can throw some of that into the lava forges, because that's on the outflow, it might help set some things on fire. All right. We can throw it while we're, while we're running. Thanks. All right. Head to the boat. <laughs> Flicks it off. Looks at him. Let's go. Okay. Let's, shit. Let's do it. Let's go. I want to use lightning gun. I hope some fucking comes after us. <laughs> let's, let's hope not, but... I'm sure you'll look amazing doing it. <laughs> Toss and run, I think. Ooh, God. Just rolling some things. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. That's hopefully that's the that's Renee Nelson. That is Renee, Renee the super injured Renee. Uh, and Dr. Maybe, maybe doctor just supporting her. That's why she's sailing. The, you the know? doctor <laughs> is concerned. It's like we really shouldn't be moving this fast. Uh, that's probably what it is. Um, Bobby May. I need you to roll me a luck check. You're slow. Okay. You're discombobulated. You're you're not doing well. Okay. That was for Dr. Uh, Bronwyn to find you on the way out to give you some quick first aid. Dr. Bronwyn does not find you on the way out. She is too busy escorting Dr. Nelson. I'm sure there's chaos. Oh, it is utter chaos. People are freaking out. The elder things are freaking out. A couple of the elder things are lashing out at the humans just because they're like freaking out. They don't know who else to take it out on. Um, when when I come out, like I'm assuming mm -hmm. at this point I, I've gotten out. Yeah, right? you're burnt. Um, you're bleeding down the side yeah. of your face. Yeah. Do I see your Gabriel ears are ringing? Are it is hard yeah. to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Your, li Do your I see list Gabriel? of checks will be at a degree harder for right now. Dis okay, that makes sense. Do, do I see Gabriel or no? You're guessing he no. went to the boat around lunchtime, like, like, he, he like you asked Shit. him to. Like I asked him to fucking Christ, I'm so efficient. Um, can I? You can give me a spot hidden grab... though. Okay, I'll do that. Some of the underground people might be here. Oh, extreme success. With an extreme success, you do see one person from mm. the underground who has not made it to the boat, probably because they were trying to avoid their girlfriend, David ah, okay. Peterson, Tara Brighton's boyfriend. Okay. You see, I... he was lurking around the entrance of the tunnel, and he's, like, starting to creep off now. Like, don't let yeah. Tara see me in all this chaos. Don't let Tara see- He's got, like, a hoodie pulled up. He is right, trying- right, right. But you spot like, him. You I zero in on I, him. I, I, like, grab him as I'm yeah. nearly dead. <laughs> he looks ready to, like, like punch. And then, he's, right. and then he looks just horrified. He's gonna make a scene right, check. Right. Like, he's not <laughs> expecting a half-burnt uh, person to grab him. He's right. okay. I don't, I don't look great. Um, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Boat. We gotta, we gotta yeah. get in the boat. Yeah. 
Bobby May? Yep, it's Fuck. We gotta go. Tell, hey, don't. As long as my girlfriend doesn't see me with you, she'll get on me. with another woman. Even though you look like this. Just sorry, not. You just look really bad. Um, so bad. Are you okay? <laughs> are you gonna die? No. Probably. Let's go. Okay. Now. All right, and he's, he he will help you to the boat. Okay. Um, and we had we had one of the washes people set off the third. Um, yes, you silicon did. Silicon station. You, okay, good. You, you can see her in, the, in a little head. Looks like she's already dumped her silicon. It took you longer to good. get out of the tunnel. Uh, and that yeah. would have been uh, Brenda Buckley. Brenda Buckley was in charge Brenda. of that way station. Love Brenda. Brenda does good work. Um, she does. She does. It's the South in her. Um, run into the boat. <laughs> Brenda Buckley, doing just doing what she yeah. can do. Knew, knew I could trust on another Southerner. Um, and I, David, uh, David, does his name? Yeah, David. I'm leaning heavily on David. Tara Brighton to is to going to make a check. She does not see her boyfriend. Yes. Sweet. With Love it. A half dead woman. <laughs> love it and you guys will make it to the boat um teddy and irena you dumped yourself out very quickly you're able to make it to the that's what c said bobby may and peter make it to the that's what c said tanner and parker i need you two to give me dexterity checks to see how fast you can get to that submarine eight Ooh, if only I had seven luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Does the Parker got a hard success, so he he'll help you speed up. He can okay. he can make it a regular success for both of you. Um, but I do need to have Uriah try to shoot somebody. Um, mm. Don't worry about it. That, that's our person. You see, the sub has been pushed to the edge of the dome, mm -hmm. and. Uh, is it hooked up? It is. Uh, is. The chain's hooked up. The dome, like, wash is already inside. You're like, great, great. Come on in. Come on in, too. Oh, he's good. Ah, Tanner, you made it. Good. Get in the sub. We're going. Uh, he's uh, just, like, heaving. He's so tired. He's been running so hard, and all he's been eating recently is snail. So uh, he's probably very malnourished. And he gets to the edge of the sub right next to Uriah, he takes a breath, and he looks aside and he says, "You're a Russian spy." <laughs> uh, we can talk about that later. Get, come on, get, come on, kid, get in the sub. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just stumbles into the sub. Who told you that? That's silly. Uh... And then you see he's he's hooked it up so that way you guys are kind of like on like a like a rolly ramp so that one more good push will get you guys into the fully into the water through the barrier. And so some strength checks are going to be made by the people he brought with him. Ooh. Good enough. Uh, I guess he's he shoots go... one and keeps the other guy. <laughs> Great, good job. Poe. How much luck does he have? He'd spend that luck. I know Greg. He would spend the luck to shoot somebody in the face on the way out. Bring the other guy in. Bow. Shoots shoots the one. And then does only room for four. And then closes it as the other guy's like, wait! And uh you guys <laughs> into the water. <laughs> leaving that poor sod. Poor sod to die. Uh <laughs> behind you. Wash. Got it started successfully, but now he's got to circumnavigate the globe. But he has the manual with him now, and not just notes written on his hand in Sharpie. So that, that bodes better for him. Um, Wash. Yeah. He, uh, he crushes it uh, with his help from the instructions. That's a hard success. So. Wash. <laughs> the submarine pilot. <laughs> Oh, around the top of the dome to the other side. So that's what C said, where Irina and Teddy, you get there first. Right, everyone. This is what we're going to do to get out safe. You see, Gabriel is, like, sitting here. He's got, like, he's with the Gemma, and, he, and she's like, Oh, good, you're here, finally. We're getting out of here. And he's like, what? 
What is are you talking about? I don't. We have to start our safety charm now. Jump up into positions, everyone else. All right, everyone. I've got crystals for you, for you. She's got like her bag of crystals. She's passing mm-hmm. them out to people to try to help. It doesn't help. Um. Yeah. Listen but bless her, she tries. Mm-hmm. All right, to cast this bubble dome spell, the dome of protection. I need an occult check. Cool. I'm so glad uh-huh. I have it. I have. I, I have it. And um, you get a bonus, a five percent bonus from Teddy. You'll yeah, get a Teddy, Teddy gives Arita a kiss. Is like you fucking got this. Thanks, baby. We're all dead. <gasps> yes. yes okay. People are still no running pressure. the ship, but you're starting the dome. I'm ritual starting the dome now. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You have Gabriel and his three people there, so you get five percent mm-hmm. for everyone there because everyone's a base five in a cult. Okay. So uh, you get one, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, twenty percent, and then Jenna okay. is also helping. So twenty-five. Gemma well, is a plus 10. Gemma knows a little bit more about the occult, so you get 30. That would be, okay, 30. 30. Okay, so, and, all right, let's, let's do it. The better the success, the better. Um, That's perfect, because that's that's a 55 out of 80. Okay, that is a success. Uh, To make um, it a hard success, we would need a 40. Do you want, leave it as a regular success, or do you want a hard I success? Will, I will spend the fucking luck. I don't, I don't, I'm not fucking You're with this. You're spending 15 luck? Okay. Yeah, I am spending the 15 luck. Do it. You do get a hard it. success. That's yes. good. Your dome, you sense, as you cast this ritual, um, is a little more durable. Uh, than it would have been re- otherwise. Um, yeah, it's still permeable. Things will still be able to pass through it, but it is. It can take a bit more of a of a beating if necessary. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna collapse like a like a, if a needle hit it, you know. The minute Bobby May and the doctors made it, I'm yeah. I'm radioing with the other guy. It's like, pick it, like go. They're gonna be a minute, Bobby May and the doctors. You see, they uh, they're all injured. Um, but you don't know this. It's fine. So yeah. you're you're sitting here. Uh, Andrea Johnson walks up. She's got like a big duffel bag, and just she just sits down in like a chair. She's like, all right, good. Fucking go. Why Andrea, do you, can you keep are? an eye on people. Make sure no one steps on this. Like, circle. I can do that. Thank you. And she pulls out a a, a shotgun. Uh, I was like, Teddy was going to say, shoot them if you have to. But you already co- it was like, shoot. She's oh. ready. <laughs> yeah, never <Ready>. mind. Andrea, <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about. <laughs> However, Snow, there is a cost to be paid for... My sanity? For your sanity for this dome. Okay. Am I am I making a sanity check? Like, what's going you on You do here? need to make me make me a power check first. Oops. Uh, that's, that's a okay. fail for a sanity. Good. Let's do a power. You need both of them. Good. Hey. So you get... You get the smaller sanity loss from this big bubble, not the oh, bigger God. sanity loss. Okay. It's still not a small number. I'm gonna let you I'm know that much. we're looking at. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hear goop. <laughs> You're gonna hear goop. Maybe he's in the submarine though. Um. If we I come out of this alive, it. I might hear goop. Come out of this alive, you might hear goop. So. Nine sanity. Not bad. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I, I could have been goop though. I if think that's like the most that anyone's lost in this game at one time. That <laughs> is a temporary insanity, however, for you. Because it's yeah. more than five. Yeah. So your temporary insanity in this instance, you're casting this bubble. Uh, you're trying to escape. Your temporary insanity is. Hmm. There's so many options here. Um. You don't want to leave the bubble. The bubble keeps you safe. Casting this, you want to stay inside this bubble and you want to weigh. You want this boat to get away as fast as it can. Yeah, I just like press on the radar. Bobby May, we gotta go like as soon as you can, please. I can't wait. Keep waiting, please. Your radio does that, Bobby May. Broken. Yeah. I'm, I probably don't Bobby even May? Like, cognitively realize that no. noises are happening. <laughs> Irina, you get no response from Bobby May. <laughs> I just look at Teddy and I'm like, do you think Bobby's gonna make it? Because this is really worrying. I, I think we should go. Um, I don't know, but I think I think we should go. Um, we should we should go, right? We should go. Well, 
fuck. <laughs> Did you see her? I, 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 I Patty's like you? going and just looking. May spot hidden. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's my cool guy? Success. You're looking out. It is pandemonium. It is chaos. Uh, people have started to notice there's a bubble going up over this boat, and if some people have started to figure it out, and they're rushing towards this ship. Sure. Among them, you do see Dr. Bronwyn and Dr. Renee Nelson. However, you didn't realize it was Dr. Renee Nelson at first, because her face, half of her face has gotten severe chemical burns. She's uh, gonna from, need a doctor. From bad reaction. Yeah, she needs mm. more medical attention. But she seems uh, to be ambulatory. Plastic surgery is not that good these days, so... Oh. Well, she'll live. Yeah. We hope. Uh, and, uh, yeah, she, uh, they're running up, and you can see behind them uh, a couple more members of the Resistance. You see Brenda booking it. She's making great speed, Brenda. Oh, okay. uh -huh. um, no. And you see Tara's... Uh, boyfriend you met him briefly david peterson carrying a half burned alive person practically um Ooh. it takes you a moment that might be bobby may uh okay so and you also see the submarine the shadow of it go over the dome it's coming over getting ready to hook up soon next five, five minutes maybe Okay. I, I'm i probably stronger than this guy. I'm gonna go grab Bobby May. We gotta get on the boat. I've carried Bobby May on my back before. You have. It's true. So I'm gonna just go take Bobby May and like, come the fuck on, we got to go. <laughs> All right, now you see Teddy jump off the ship and run out. Yeah, I probably scream after him like, <laughs> it's okay. Okay. You you just hear her, I'm getting Bobby May. Okay, okay. Um, I don't care if she kills someone. <laughs> okay, three minutes then, and I'm just gonna start singing myself a fucking "We All Live in a Yellow Submarine." I don't know anything. We all it. live in a yellow submarine. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> you can position yourself by the anchor hookup because you know the line's gonna drop through the bubble, and someone's gonna have to hook it up. I'm gonna. I'm I'm not leaving. So I've like. Uh, asking someone else, could you please let me know? Yes, yes. Uh, Mateo would be more than happy to help. Uh, he's hooked many a line to a mini ship, as he's a fisherman. I'm Not Mateo, Gabriel? I'm sorry, Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel okay, is more than happy God. to help. I did what y'all have been doing for the past several weeks, calling him Mateo. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Gabriel's more than happy to help. Um, Teddy, you get over there, give me a dex check. Or, or strength check. Strength check to carry Bob and May, or dex check to help move faster. Uh... She's in bad shape. Me, so. Fuck me. I am absolutely gonna push that. Push it. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'll spend the luck. <laughs> can't use luck on a push roll. Oh, you can't hold it on a push roll. Fuck. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's okay. I could I could have spent okay. it on the first one, but that's fine. That's okay. That's a lot this, of luck. <laughs> that's a lot of luck. Uh, so you go up to take Bobby May and, um, She's really injured, and so you're just not sure where to, to grab carry. her yeah. to not cause her a lot I'm of like, pain. You motherfucker, it's like, really? how'd you get this fucked up? Don't you fucking die over you better not fucking die. I don't I don't think Bobby is even like conscious enough to register that Teddy's she seems there. pretty concussed. Actually, yeah. with that. It's like I went down the fucking cave for you. <laughs> one, one half point. <laughs> you better make yep. your fucking way back. And uh, <laughs> you will make it back, but more people have boarded the ship. Um, I know. If people keep trying to get on after I've set down Bobby May, start shooting I will them. Absolutely fucking shoot people. Yeah. As All right. bad as that sounds, I will shoot people. They will sink the ship if, if we, if we, unfortunately, hit more. So. So. Uh, ten people have made it on board before Teddy and Bobby make it back. Uh, the, the the line is dropping through. Irina, give me a mechanical repair check to secure it to the dock. You'll have assistance from you have a, you have a plus fifteen from Gabriel. Okay, that's a eighty five, which means we're looking at a six still, mm -hmm. right? 
Mm -hmm. I'm spending a lot like money today. I'm, I'm gonna make it make it <laughs> okay, a success. Okay, this is the time. This is the yeah, time. Yeah, I've been saving. You have. Moment. You've barely spent luck this campaign. You're like, fuck it, let's go. You hook the line in for a second. You like give this. You give the radio signal to Wash, and he's like, alrighty, and and he starts to pull off, but you realize it's not quite connected, and you kick it, and it. Phew, fully latches like a carabiner that was almost connected and then phew, fully latches and the boat starts to move now a submarine this is not a huge submarine it takes a lot of towing mm -hmm. it's not gonna be the fastest thing in the world so but the submarine is doing pretty okay it's little engines are going um you're getting pulled through the bubble. Uh, you are halfway through the bubble when Bobby and Teddy May make it back on. Or Bobby and Teddy May. <laughs> Teddy and Bobby May. <laughs> Teddy make May. Make it back on board. <laughs> Teddy May. Bobby and, Bobby May and Teddy make it back on board. And more people are going to try to grab onto the ship. Right now, you are not even at half capacity. You have plenty of room still on the boat. Um, if, the, if the boat was going out any slower, you'd have a problem. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ten more people will try to make it aboard. You have plenty of room for them. This boat holds okay. about 75. Yeah. Okay. Teddy has a lightning gun ready. He, he has, has a no lightning idea gun what this will ready. do to people, but he has it in hand now. Mm -hmm. He set Bobby May down. He's still fucking crying, mumble to himself. Better not fucking die. Now after <laughs> a fucking cave in the Shogoth. I was so good before that. I was so good. <laughs> Dr. Bronwyn is going to try to give Bobby May some first aid. Yeah. Hard also, success. Teddy One grabs the back. radio and asks, is Tanner on the sub? Tanner, you have the radio. You can hear that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think he is just like crouched down in the nook of the sub mm -hmm. uh, and just trying to forget about what happened the last time they were on a sub. <laughs> yeah. Just, just crackle on the radio and he, he turns it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this, is, this is Tanner. We're here. We're, we're all here. All of us. Good. Good, 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 Bob, good, I good. think, I think Bobby hears Tanner's name and she just like, kind of like tugs. Cause she, I'm assuming she's like face first on the deck of this ship. Yeah. Because her back <laughs> yes, fucked. because your yeah. back is yeah. fucked. Yeah, so your it's face fucked. first. And he laid you down, yeah. just like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just kind of like tugs on, on Teddy's like pant leg and just like, Parker, Parker. Tanner's there, Parker's there. Par is Parker on, on the sub too? Yeah, yeah, we we got him. I I got him. I got good, Parker. Good. Bobby here. passes out. <laughs> as soon as she as soon as she hears the yes, she passes out. Did did they make it? Did they all make it on the ship, Teddy? All of them. I told him. All of who? All of the people down there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there is a a, a, additional people. a pause <laughs> from Teddy, and he's looking at people trying to get on the ship. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I think so. Good, 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 good. That's good. Um, listen, when we get out of here, if those uh, shogi things, those those monsters come for us before we get to the surface, uh, if it's, he gets the radio a little closer to his mouth, if it's us or you, if, if there's no way we can both make it for whatever reason, don't throw your lives away and all the lives of those people, all right? Please. You don't get any response to that. <laughs> 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 nothing. Teddy just says nothing. He hear, it's just clear that that, that came through. Because <laughs> you hear the button go like somebody's about to talk. And then it's just, <laughs> nah, I'm not saying anything to that one. <laughs> Also, right. I don't think we can move without the sub, so... <laughs> I don't actually know how the physics of this work, um, but Tanner yeah. doesn't either, so... That's fair. <laughs> fair. While fair. we are doing this, yes. while we're doing this completely, since Bobby May is unconscious... Yes, Bobby May is starting unconscious. starting to move away. Yes. I am going to do a thing. The ship because gets through the bubble, and... Five more people are able to make it on board before... Perfect. <laughs> You're through the dome again. You're but you're about you probably have about forty people on board right now. And he's like, I'm did, so sorry. Did Tara make so it? Sorry. Did Tara make it? That's the question. Mm. Can we roll did, for did Tara? Tara make it? Look, roll check for Tara. Here. Tara, Tara is it. one of those last five people. <laughs> oh, no. um, did anyone? Could anyone just 
uh, unfortunately <laughs> just uh, push her. Yeah, Teddy okay. was not paying enough attention to push her <laughs> off. <laughs> if Irina <laughs> wants to make a push check to shove Tara off. I'm do honestly that. a bit too Don't busy that. trying to do something else. You know, are a little insane right now. I am a little <laughs> insane. Just and saying. I'm, I know, but my insanity <laughs> means I want to protect my bubble. Um, yeah, my bubble is my special safe space. You, you're your safe space. You don't want to leave your safe space. I'm not leaving my safe space to kick a bitch, okay? Bobby would do um, it. I'm a conscious. I'm a conscious. That's very, that's very because Bobby is We would learn that Bobby is a murderer and Bobby was still conscious. Are, are things approaching us? Are they starting to swim? Or do we Elder anything? things seem preoccupied for right this instant. Okay. Yeah, how much? Like, most of these things are. St what, you look a chunk of these things still sleeping? Or has it been the 17 No, minutes? I think they woke up. Yeah, it's been, it's about the time where they're starting to wake up, the ones right by the thing. Okay, good. I hope they see their death coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope they don't, because we want them to just fall asleep. Um, I'm setting this up regardless. I'm going to hook up uh, the speakers to the little device and then put it ne put it next to Bobby. I'm like, please, Bobby, please connect to Doris. Just to <laughs> That's so funny, because I was going to ask if I could try and connect to Doris. Well, like, she's unconscious. Like, That's so funny. This. All right. Um, oh, I'm going to... We're going to have David make a perception check, because he's trying to not have Tara. He does not notice. Tara is oh, on the Great. But we can always shoot Tara. It's fine. You can always shoot Tara, or throw Tara out the bubble. Yeah, like... We, we can do this. It's fine. This one is a permeable bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm And she'll just be crushed by the ocean instead. We don't have to do anything about killing her. Like. <laughs> so. Jesus. You put these speakers next to Bobby May with Doris's signal on there. Give me an occult check. My dear Irina. Okay. Yes. Bob and May, you are unconscious. I am unconscious. Nearly dead. You were back in your photo lab. Mm. Your little dark room. Um, the dark room, a lot of the photos look like they've taken some fire damage. Uh, like an explosions rocked this area a little bit. Fair. But you're there, and that poster is on the wall. It's a little crooked, and it's smaller. It's like, it used to be like a full size movie poster, and now it's like an eight Big, by ten. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna go over and straighten it and make sure it's nice and pristine. You just see those two eyes in the darkness staring out. Um, do I in my unconscious state? Do I remember that I've been basically blown up? <laughs> yes, you would recall okay. that. Uh, that okay. was a big thing that happened. To you. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, Doris. Um, any help you could assist? I know you're a, a, a strange being. Impressive, but strange. Any assistance getting out of these depths would be appreciated. Eyes stare at you. I could definitely be willing to help with Bob. You get a curious vibe. Doris doesn't communicate with words. No, she it's all doesn't. All vibes. Uh, yeah. You get a curiosity. Yeah, you've been in my mind. You know what I, I've done and can do. Interested. Mm -hmm. Help escaping this underworld bubble shit would be very appreciated. Difficult. Anything you can do, assist with? Hmm. Time. Like giving us time to escape? Primitive. Yeah, that that would be appreciated. Delay. Shoggoth. Yeah, yeah, that would be 
Definitely appreciated. Noted. Okay, alright. And like I said, I'm a woman Deal? of my word and I will help you get rid of Bob, absolutely. Deal. You say deal. Mm -hmm. Make me a power check. A power check, yay. Sailor Doris. Wonderful. Failure. Great, can you I... are bound. <laughs> yes. Can, you can I push it if I you have... want? Yeah, well, can what, I spend luck, luck on this? Yeah, you can make luck. Um, I would need, what, a 30? You would need a 10 to make it a success. Right, but to make it like a hard success. Let's see what Doris rolls first, shall we? Doris does get a boon here. Because I definitely will spend the luck to make it a success. Okay. Either way, there's going to be a contract made here. Power. Yeah, you'd need a 30 to get a hard I would... To beat Doris, you would need an extreme success. Okay. To match Doris, you would need to have a 30. And I can only spend 30 luck. Mm hmm. I don't think even a 30 would get me a hard success. Because with a 60, yeah. You need 30. Okay. I'll just spend the 10 then. Make it a brave success? That's probably a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> And you feel a cold sensation. Like like a cold chill down the back of your spine go over you. Roll me a d4. D4. Uh, you gain, two. You gain two power points. And thus Ooh. also two sanity. Oh, nice. Okay, so... My power is 62 now, and my sanity is now 32. Sweet. There you go. You have made a deal with Doris. <laughs> the penguin. All right, so, and while Bobby May is having this delightful conversation, <laughs> uh, you all on the boat. There is a lot of commotion on the boat right now. Um, lots of people being like, what's happening? Like, just talking. A lot of it's in Spanish. Um, like, half of it's in Spanish, the other half is in English, and some other languages smattered about. Um, but there's a lot of people. Gemma is trying to gain some calm. Uh, she's going to roll, not as Doris, as me, to try to, like, calm some people down. She does a really good job calming some people down. Does she hand out some ayahuasca? Maybe. Um, does it help calm people the fuck down? Definitely. Um, she has some drugs. She passes them out. She's She has a very soothing voice, Gemma. She's just, look, everything's going to be all right. We're going to get to the surface. We're going to put all this behind she's us. She's out here Mary Poppins and people, except with drugs. Yes. <laughs> A spoonful oh, of ayahuasca. Of cocaine. <laughs> Mix the medicine. Go down. <laughs> I'm going to make a song about this. It's going to be grand. Right. He's a new manager, though. Hmm. And as y'all are leaving, uh, if anyone wants to look at behind you at the city, feel free to make me spot hidden checks. That includes sure, you, Tanner. I can, I can, I can take more uh, sanity loss. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I think Teddy would be willing to risk his sanity for this one because he wants sure. to see this shit burr. Can't see shit. Can okay. Get it on camera through the. Oh, I have my set as hard. Sure. So, I, oh, that yeah. is a success. That is a success <laughs> for you, Teddy. All right. Whew, that's a good spot hidden, Tanner. You see all the things. Uh, Irina, you will see some things, but you won't see the harder to see things. I think I'm staying too close to like my circle, like. Mm hmm. Probably. You're guarding that circle. Uh, mm -hmm. Teddy, you see some stuff. But we'll go with what everyone sees. You see the dome getting smaller behind you as you slowly leave, going at a submarine's pace. A slower submarine's pace. It's towing. Um, I'm sure it's power reserves. It'll be fine. And you notice the device has collapsed. You see little fires throughout. But you also see 
that tower, which you know is the Yithian uh, embassy. A light, purplish light swirls up around each of the weird odd angles and <laughs> sends a beam through the top of the dome. It seems to lose a lot of its visualness in the water, but you can see the waves, like almost like a, those are science experiments where you play with the, with the wavelengths of light. Um, you know it's still going somewhere, it's just being just harder for the human eye to see once it gets into the water. You, you're guessing that um, he's swapping vessels. He's returning to his original form. Is what you can assume here. This poor guy. Poor guy. Come back to his body. <laughs> to this. Yeesh. Well, I also, I have, we do know I that they, this person potentially went into this contract willingly. So potentially, <laughs> that's true. That's Parker true. Parker never asked if I anybody went in question. against their will. So you never know. That's yes, fair. Bobby Bay. So we timed this explosion to link up with their dome and their recasting ritual. Does the dome collapse? Like, yeah. is their bubble still up? That's the next thing. Oh, okay, that's, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just yeah. so excited. <laughs> so you see that purplish light go through and it lasts for a minute, two minutes, and then you see the dome start to warble a little bit. It's going to take a little bit. It's starting to shrink first as if it's that's how it deactivates. Uh, it doesn't just it's it gets smaller to try to contain itself to keep its form with whatever magic it still has left in it, but it's you see the outer reaches disappear. You see the shipyard start to get consumed. It's moving slowly, but it is closing. And right as it's about to touch the tip of the Yithian embassy tower, you see one more little pulse. <laughs> Go out, up, go off the top before it. The glow stops. That's what Irina sees. Everyone's, everyone who's looking behind them sees this. Those of you who have succeeded on your spot hidden checks see a bit more. Teddy, you notice the bubble used to be over the Shawgoth pits, but that's one of the most further point city, points of the city. And you see a few black, lobulous, writhing masses float up into the water once the dome's no longer over them. Several of them scatter out. Uh, smaller ones scatter up. The big one. You remember the big one. The big one's what towed you down here. It seems to go into your direction and then pauses. Weird. It's like it's being held there. Or like it's not sure what to do, but it's paused. Tinner, you see this as well. But what you also see is as the dome is shrinking and collapsing slowly, it'll probably take 10 minutes for it to fully put that in. By then you should be probably, hopefully, out of sight. You notice there is a circle, a small circle of elder things. They're quickly drawing some lines. In the, in the sand, the dirt, well, the volcanic full, you know, ash floor of the, of the dome. And it seems that they're trying to enact a ritual of some sort. They seem rushed. Not all of them are there, but you see them putting in as many eggs and baby elder things into that little circle as they can along with a single adult in the center. What happens in that ritual circle, you can't say. It's getting smaller and smaller behind you, but you're the only one who noticed that bit. He'll click on the radio uh, and just sort of drone out what he's seeing emotionlessly. Uh, like he's not even really there in his own body as he's seeing it. Say they're putting eggs in the circle one adult in the circle i think they're gonna i think they're gonna do something are you seeing this on the radio 
Yeah, he clicks on the radio. He says it's over the radio. Uh, Teddy goes, they're saving him. They're fucking saving him. They're fucking saving him. Yes, we can't win them all, but... I wonder if there is a way. We I also notice all the little grid lines in the city are getting dimmer. Dimmer as the silica works its magic and cools off the volcano. Okay. Is there any last thing we could possibly do? Let's think. Okay. What about the what about the wand range? The wand range is probably less, right? Oh, the the magic speed stick. Mm -hmm. It's a physical yeah. weapon. It's like a little club. I, I think Teddy is magic more baton. just thinking like. You could I use fight the for another gun. day. That lightning too. gun is pretty. It's it's yeah. Anything anything past a hundred yards is going to be harder to hit its target. Yeah, but I don't damage. know if the lightning gun might go eight shit in the water and, it, and fry our own boat. Well, it might also if we shoot it through the bubble, it might pop the bubble. So yeah, yeah. so there's that's that. fine. Well, I guess we'll just stare at another the fight for campaign another day. and sigh. <laughs> 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 Who knows how many years again. this will be? <laughs> oh, 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 drat! <laughs> That's tomorrow's problem. Exactly. Like they almost didn't get a chance. Y'all were pretty smooth, but they, a couple of them rolled well. <laughs> so, you pull away. It is quiet for a couple of hours. Bobby, may you start to come too? You have, uh, let me make, let me make the doctor make one more medicine, make a medicine check for you with what limited supplies she has. How long does it take to, for us to get to the surface? It took us a couple hours last time. Mm-hmm. Took a few hours. Um, you're probably, and it's going slower because you, you're being towed by a more submarine. Tow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, speaking of which, I'm just gonna have Wash make a, just to, just to make sure he's doing okay. Submarine. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> Look, even when fake it till you make it. Peru was rolling. That's his whole character concept. It's beautiful. Yeah. Fake um, it till you make it. <laughs> this is the fool in my die game. Like <laughs> just roll fucking incredible, and everybody else gets to benefit from it or gets fucked by it. But they Bobby always. May, run you come to. You remember some most of your conversation with Doris. That yeah. weird cold chill feeling is vague. Okay. Yeah. I, I chalk it up to shock from being burned over, like, my entire back. And the last thing you heard before you woke up is... Time's up. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, Bobby's gonna, like, struggle to her feet. Um, right, Y'all, we got a shog off coming. Wait, right. Maybe. Just, uh, Doris was able to keep it away for a bit, but time's up. So how quickly will it reach us, do you think? I have no idea. Um, guys, new plan. We have gasoline on the ship, right? No. I thought we had some spares. No, we used all of it. <laughs> okay. We have, um... we have one thing of C4. <laughs> any... any... It's a shame we don't have a lot of oil, because we could just cause a surface fire. I don't think they like fire. Well, we could also stick the lightning gun, the tip of it, out into the water, through the bubble, and then just fry this shit. When, when it gets close, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of when it gets close, a dark shape approaches in the water. <sighs> Writhing it towards the ship. Teddy, Teddy, now. Teddy, yeah. now. <laughs> so we just stick the tip of the gun out through the bubble and fire. <laughs> you fire when it's 100 yards away? Yep. Cool. And and Bobby will assist Teddy with that, because I know Teddy has been training with this thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever that's worth. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You have mm -hmm. never fired this lightning gun before. Oh, how many? I'm sorry, you have to declare. How many rounds would you like to fire? Uh, uh I think from the charge. This is, 
I think Teddy's initial usage of this would be to just tap it to see how it fucking works. So, we so just one charge? Action. Great. Yeah. Um, multiple char- uh, more than four charges at a time give it a chance of burning out. So your gun does not burn out, you just miss. You see the lightning, you tap yep. it, and it kind of looks kind of weirdly like a camera. I wish I could show this to you, uh, but it won't let me show to players because it's just a handout. Mm. But uh, I'll, I'll send a picture in the group chat later. How, like, how does the shock up react to it? Um, it misses, but it doesn't seem to like it. You see that? Okay. The, it's like a bolt of electricity going through the water, and it, it goes wide. Uh, let, let try again, Teddy. We gotta. Yeah, yeah, I, I I get it. I just wanted to make sure I didn't I'll, fuck myself I'll up. Help. I'll help this time, and I will help this time. I guess. Jesus Christ, Teddy! <laughs> <laughs> again, you sh you go wide. <laughs> uh, thankfully, shockouts aren't ridiculously fast. Um, especially the bigger the shock, bigger the shock off, the slower the shock off. Yeah, um, maybe we can just. Keep it away. <laughs> you get five more before it gets to you. Shit. Okay. Um. Then let's keep. We'll just keep trying. You can help stabilize the gun by me and give Teddy yeah. a ten percent because all people have a base ten percent yeah. with it. So I'll let you add. I have a I'll do that. Pages. Also, for the stabilizing, can I mm -hmm. add a little bit of just like some sort of tinkering, not to the directly to the gun, but to help mm -hmm. him not miss. Mm. Like uh You like would a... need to make a hard mechanical repair check. I was thinking of altering like the boat railing to give him a like a support. Okay, like a sure, that'll still be mechanical. It won't be a hard check, but it'll, it'll be a mechanical repair check. Cool, cool, quickly cool. I do can... it. Hey! You got a hard success anyways. Yeah, you're able to make make a divot real quick in the railing at like the nice angle to give them some stabilization. I think I just like I'm just like move. There you go. Tanner, you saw a burst of blue go through the water twice. Three times. It seems that they're doing <laughs> throwing something, shooting something off the boat. Like it's a shadow doing... in the distance. Do I see the bolts go out in front of us? Uh, they go up behind. In front uh, behind of the submarine. You. They go behind. behind. Yeah, submarines in so front, thankfully. Yeah, he's probably been. Uh, he's probably moved to the front with Wash, so he can kind mm -hmm. of look out. Mm -hmm. uh, not that you can really see much and how not dark it is, even with it, not even with the sublights. But when he sees the flash of yeah, the flash uh, of blue, blue is bright. Yeah. And like probably from behind blue. them, he'll turn on the radio and start to push back towards the back of the sub and say, uh, is everything all right back there? Something happening? We just keep shooting along. We got, we got company. Off. Yeah, go faster. <laughs> a wash, uh, go, go, they, they say go fast, go faster, wash, go faster. All right, I'll, I'll push the I'll push the engines, hold on. Maybe I'll be wash. And does this thing have like a turbo boost or something? It's a scientific submarine. It doesn't. This thing doesn't have turbo. It doesn't have <laughs> torpedo either. <laughs> or it's not a nuclear powered stuff, but I'll give it a go. Fuck! Oh, he oh, over oh, it was it was it it had to happen. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'll give him more juice. Just like the Millennium uh, Falcon at critical oh moments. Oh my god, this is amazing. Uh, uh, Uriah, <laughs> I think I overloaded the engines. And Uriah just starts swearing in Russian. Um, mm -hmm. you stop moving, everyone on the boat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Teddy, again, try, try, fucking fire that thing. <laughs> and hit this time. <laughs> What's the what the all oh, the ten percent oh, that, that, that hits? How many charges? Yeah. I mean, you've been shit. tapping one, or you've been doing like two. I've been tapping. I've just been tapping one every okay. time. So one charge. I don't trust myself being able to shoot this thing very well. <laughs> Does do, 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 do. oh it doesn't have the damage? I'm so sorry. Let me get you the damage for that. Um, each charge. <sighs> D6s. It's a bunch of D6s. Why can't I find it? Jesus. Do, 
It's in the other end thing. Lightning gun. Come on, roll 20. It's like five shots that I've taken now. Yep. Yeah. You get, uh, I think, two more? Yeah, two more. Mm -hmm. I swear, I had the damage written. Okay, whatever. I'll get I'll get that damage for you in a moment. I'm gonna have Uriah okay. roll his his mechanical repair check to try to come on Uriah. Try to fix this. Operating machinery, mechanical repair. Nice. Ooh. He'll get it he'll get it going pretty quick, but it's still gonna take hey. it. Um, damage. It's oh, a lot of damage. Oh, oh my god! Yes. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. Alright. So the lightning gun, I don't know why I didn't try this. Um, you take, it takes, uh, it's each creature within a line. I'm sorry, so it's not little bolts. It's like big, like, choo, lines of lightning coming out. It's a whole ass line. Um, has to make a dex save. A uh, dex check. And uh, if it fails, 46 lightning. Or half as much on a success. But you're in water, and water's a great conductor of electricity, so it deals double damage. True. So, hit it uh, twice. you've hit it twice. So give me 8d6 for the first one, and I'll have it make a check to see if it All dodges. Right. Yep. <laughs> it's not your right rolling. That was me. Uh, but 19? Yeah. It, um... It doesn't make it. Do Shockoff's not Dexy. Didn't know if you knew this, but, um... Not Dexy, so it's gonna... You can roll me the same for the second one. I'll have Huzzah. a harder time dodging. Hmm. Can't dodge it either. 28 and 26 damage. We get one more shot, right? Do. Mm -hmm. Might as well try again. <laughs> yeah. How many charges do you put in it? The last shot would be just one charge, because that's, that's all I have left. Okay. Well, you have each, well, we have, each we pack have has 32 charges. charges. Oh, 32 and you have charges. two extra packs. Yeah, so if we do four, we won't mm -hmm. have to worry about it breaking out. So All right, fuck it. Let's do that then. That's just with the 10. Yep. That's still a success. Oh, yeah. Each charge is 46. So if you're rolling, if you did all four, if you did four charges in that last one. Yeah. That is 16d6 uh, times 2, so 32d6. 32d6, yeah. It's gonna try to dodge. Gonna. Ooh. It successfully makes its, got a its dodge there. check. <laughs> it has 15 decks. Uh, it's not a lot of decks. So it will take mm. half of 109, which is still really good. One moment. Dun, dun, dun. Elevator music playing while I do hit point math. Ba -da -ba -bum. Half of 109 is 55. Okay. Oop, not minus. Divide. Go. Ooh, um, you see chunks of it float off as it gets fried. If it had a skeleton, like a cartoon, you would see the outlines of it. <laughs> it, um, it's not happy. It is very, very bad looking. But it does make it to the ship. Shagoths, so much strength and con, so little dicks. Um, um, if it hadn't had dodged that last one, you would have killed it in this round. Okay. Um, while they were shooting it, mm -hmm. I had an idea. Yes. I'm gonna see if I could execute it. Um, you know how we still have some sleepy time hippos left? You do. I've been saving. You do. Um, I know that they need to be lit by a fire. Yes, right? they do. But we have a lot of empty booze bottles. You do. Could I make something that can explode itself and catch, well, catch you the know... fire spread to them? Like a... A bottle, if you put something inside of it, don't put sparklers in bottles as children, it's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you close it up, it will run out of air and explode! The, the glass bottle. Um, wear eye protection, people. Um, 
and that would hopefully have some <laughs> science. Time hippo science around it as well. Yes, I'm thinking. I will say you do know they're airborne. You're not sure what the effect would be underwater. It's worth a try. It's, it's it worth is a worth a try. We okay. don't know what it's like underwater, but who the fuck cares? You can easily light it, stick it in a bottle, close it up. Give me a throw check. Um, to get I it out am there. not the best at throwing. Would so you like to hit someone else to throw? I probably, as soon as like Teddy's finished shooting his shots, like, here, hon, can you throw this as well? <laughs> just <laughs> Teddy's like, what's this? And then doesn't even think about it, just eats it. Okay. <laughs> eat it. Give me a throw check, please. Uh, I don't think Teddy's particularly good at throwing either. You're probably <laughs> better than me. My throw is 20. My throw is 20. <laughs> well, <laughs> base throw. Ooh. Um, you throw it, and it kind of like, and it gets through the bubble, but the, the momentum is seriously slowed through the bubble, and it just kind of sure. drifts. As they're doing that, off can I get to the side. Can, who knows? Who looks like they know how to shoot? shoot like a I gun? I can shoot. I have a can you, gun. Could somebody shoot that, please? I'll be like, yeah, we have the bottle. We have, like, automatic do machine, have, not machine guns, but, you, like, we you've have, got like, some shotguns and uh, rifles and yeah. stuff. Can um, shoot the bottle? Andrea has a shotgun. She looks like she knows how to use it. Yeah. Could you just, like, poke your, like, gun through and shoot that real quick? I'm not sure how buckshot will work, hopefully. That's all I right. can give her the go. It's not probably gonna work out as well as you think it is, but yeah. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Hits it. Uh, enough shrapnel catches it as it, it, it's in the water. It points it, it like moves a little bit in the direction from the momentum. Mm -hmm. um, and the Shoggoth's getting too. It will explode with the Shoggoth there. It's just not gonna okay. be a direct hit. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's going to I make mean, a power check. When it gets here, we can. Okay. Point blanket with the lightning gun. <laughs> yeah, it's here. Um, yeah, you did your five five rounds. Um, mm -hmm. He did some real good damage. Uh, oh, you didn't do your damage for the last one. You did your damage for the crit, the extreme success, but you did not do your damage for. Oh, you did. You did. That was the big. That was the big yeah, one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you had more damage. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll give that to you. No, it's gonna come up and it's gonna hit your boat. I'm just gonna Ooh. bubble god uh do, do, do. that is exactly what it needs um it could deal damage equal to its damage bonus or engulf target well it can't engulf the full boat it's too big for that it's not a humongous creature it's just big so it's going to deal damage to the boat Thankfully, not any of you yet. Does 34 damage to your boat. <laughs> you hear the sound of the side of the boat getting dented in as it boom, makes contact with the side of your boat. Um, that's its turn. You feel free to point blank it with the lightning gun. Yeah, point point blank that fucking thing. Let's go. They give me some bonuses to actually hitting it. Does oh. not <laughs> with a 100. <laughs> I can't believe that. Wow. Okay. The dice love us tonight, guys. There's something is else. Creating suspense. I don't. What? <laughs> so you, you, you shoot the lightning gun. You're gonna pump another four charges into this sucker. You're gonna have a bow. No fuck. Uh, you're gonna take a little backfire. Five a points. little. 1d6, it does 4d6 okay. with one charge. So 4d6. Now 1d6 backfire. Teddy, you take <sighs> 6 electrical damage as uh, the thing backfires a little bit. The 4 charges uh, don't go anywhere. And um, yeah, make me a luck check. Okay. Look, okay. Well, well, this is how this game is oh, going for me right I'm now. I'm sure the <laughs> condition of the lightning gun. This isn't helping, I'm sure, but what Tanner <laughs> is doing right now is yes. he's like, taking out the boom mic that he has, taking the mic off the boom, and he's using it like a bludgeon, and he's not a mechanical repair expert. 
uh, and he doesn't even think that Uriah is prob Uriah is a spy, and so he's just <laughs> looking for anything that looks damaged or busted, and he's just slamming it. Don't do that! Mic. Don't fucking Tanner! I will shoot you. We are getting out of here. Do not wreck this boat more than it's already wrecked. This says Uriah, who's fixing it. <laughs> does Uriah? Does Tanner oh. listen? He kind of gives him a deadpan stare. And he I'm says, so close to getting this thing up and running. Fix it, Uriah. Fix it. Fix it, Uriah. You gotta fix it. Faster. It's almost back up. I don't wash. Don't overload the engines again. And he he turns the wrench. And uh, 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 he did pretty well in the last one. He turns the wrench. The engine goes. He goes. I do not have fix shit. <laughs> and he sits back down. <laughs> And Walsh is like, oh, like, oh okay. Like dice rolls. 